Ladies and gentlemen, there we go. We should be live now. Oh my goodness, look at this high quality production value. You don't get this very often. How are you doing, chat? Are you having a lovely day? Are you all drinking tea? Are you all relaxing? Having a, maybe a festive beverage of tea-flavoured eggnog, maybe, maybe tea-flavoured gin, tea-flavoured um, iced tea, uh, tea-flavoured water, water-flavoured tea, um, you could also, if you're, if you're really, I mean, it's Christmas, a time of bringing people together. I will say now, today is a charity event, and so for the only time in the entire universe, I will allow you, I will allow you, one single bean of coffee, provided it's also served alongside four cups of tea. That's all you get. That is all you get, chat. All you get. Anyway, I hope you're all having a lovely time. Uh, welcome to the Jingle Jam. Now, if you don't know what the Jingle Jam is, it is a yearly charity event organised by the Yogscast. It is the largest uh, charity gaming event ever. Um, I mean, technically there is, uh, what is it, Games Done Quick is technically above the Jingle Jam in terms of total amount raised over the years that it's done. However, Games Done Quick is not a single organisation, it's a whole bunch of individuals, which is cheating. Whereas we at the Yogscast are a single kind of merged hive mind of people who drink tea and uh, also the Yorks Coast helped me make mugs so I kind of have to do this and it's for charity. So what is the Jingle Jam? I mean I'll explain it before I, I explain what we're doing actually here today this evening. We're going to be playing some Open TTD which is a really really fun tycoon transport game. It is genuinely mwah, my favourite game of all time, Open TTD. And I'm going to be smashing all of the other members of the Yorks Cast. If you're a Yorks Cast fan and prepare to cry as I panel beat all of your favorite YouTube content creators with my overpowered strategies and business thinking, I know. Now, of course, what is the Jingle Jam? Uh, there's a link in the description. There's also a couple of links in chat that you'll see. The Jingle Jam is effectively a charity event where you can donate money to charities. However, um, a few years back, we decided it'd be great to also give back to the people who aren't donating so much money to charity. So if you donate £25 to one of the many charities via the link and uh, select to receive the games, you will receive a whole bunch of games valued at around about £500, I think it is. So you spend £25 minimum going to charity and you get £500 worth of games. It is an insanely good deal because you get a game like Prison Architect, is, which is probably uh, my second favourite game in there. Then Rise of Industry, I love Element TD2. Honestly, if you don't own these games, you should get these games. Equally, Dicey Dungeons is insane. Very good game. It's all in there and it's fantastic. If you already own the games, you can get it and give the keys to your... To to a friend it's brilliant but equally you don't even have to donate to the games you can just donate because you love charity isn't that amazing also don't donate via super chat because I, I if you don't donate via super chat you donate via the link to on the tiltify website super chats I have to then sort through after the stream and YouTube takes a cut so that's that don't do that send it via um, <laughs> send it via tiltify you potatoes absolute potatoes and anyway, i hope you're all having a lovely time an absolutely terrific time my friends what's that you have no friends if you have no friends and you have a spare key hop onto the discord and make a friend and then give them the key it's okay it's absolutely fine oh my goodness but yes this is an exploit where i can use my incredible incredible power on the internet to harvest likes from you the audience then what happens is youtube's algorithm converts those likes into terrifyingly overpowered algorithmic power and by the end of the evening not only am I going to be absolutely pissed because I realize I've already finished about free gin and tonics um, we'll also be at a point where we'll probably have more viewers than all of the random weird creepy VR Minecraft channels that are creating kids content and we'll have also raised money for charity which is also very important it's always very important to raise money for charity so there you have it ladies and gentlemen if you want to help charity you can just like the stream honestly because liking the stream gets the stream shown to about 20 other people and then one of those 20 other people might donate to charity you know what that means you've won 20 if donated to charity that's equates to something also I'll take whatever money this stream makes and just give it to uh, give it to charity as well. I've already done one charitable donation, but I might as well do a few more. 
Okay, chat, if you don't know what creepy Minecraft channels are, if you go onto, like, the YouTube live channel section, almost all of the top channels are really weird animations looped for about four days, um, and they just have, like, 40,000 people watching them. And it's, it's terrifying, concerning, and weird. I absolutely hate it. Absolutely hate it. Anyway, um... Oh, my goodness. Uh, I'll quickly send a message to the people in the game um, to give me a shout when we go live. Oh my goodness. Now, chat, this is an absolutely incredible time. And, um, yes. Oh yeah, if you donate, you get the games in 48 hours. They'll get emailed to your Tiltify account email, which is nice. If you have any issues, you just send an email to, um, uh, to Tiltify. They'll sort it all out, don't worry. Do I take challenge requests? Of course, sometimes I do. Now, what is OpenTTD? Because this is the game we're going to be playing. Well, allow me to seamlessly switch into my OpenTTD screen. <gasps> we're professional streamers today, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Look at this. It's fantastic. So, what are we doing in OpenTTD? Well, we're playing a very special map. This is a complete replica of the UK. Look at that. We've got Scotland up here. It's Edinburgh and... Glasgow, and if you go down south, you've got literal hell. Um, uh, you've got <laughs> physical manifestation of the word shit, and then if you go a little bit, oh, you, you go to the home of depression itself. It's Luton, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness, it's a perfect map of the UK. Oh, but of course, don't forget the best places in the UK, like Oxford. Why is Oxford the best place? Well, that's because that's where I live. And Oxford is great. <laughs> Shout out to anyone in High Wycombe. You, you're kind of okay. You're okay, High Wycombe. I think you're okay. Reading is, is, is also rather nice. I'll tell you what's also nice. Um, Bath. I like Bath. Having a bath is good. Western Supermare used to have actually... Okay, the one thing that was famous about Western Supermare chat, if you don't know it, Western Supermare had this massive pier where you could go to, like, um, like little penny arcades and make little monies. It was great when you were a kid. I went there as a kid. I thought it was amazing. A few years ago, the entire place burnt down. <laughs> There's nothing fun in Western Supermare now. <laughs> it's just economic destitution and sadness. Uh, oh, and don't forget Bude, of course, Bude, the Bude Tunnel, um, which is over here in Bude, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Can we get a shout out to the Bude Tunnel, ladies and gentlemen? You know, I'll put a sign down here, actually, because I can. Bude Tunnel. There we go. Just slam that down so that people know exactly where it is. My God. Now, um, of course, uh... Ross, thanks for the great big insane $250,000 donation. Don't do that. I have to then take what is remaining of the cut that YouTube takes and give that to charity. So donate via the charity link. If you want to give me a message, I'll, I won't be able to read them tonight, but if you want to send me a personal message, then in your donation message on Tiltify, just include the word spiff, and I have access to the little reader, and I will sit down tonight and have a nice read of them all. And also, you'll confuse all of the streamers in subsequent days who are wondering why there are so many Spiff fans donating to the Jingle Jam this year. I know, it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Oh. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of people donating to charity. So far, we've raised about half a million pounds, which is, in fact, a terrifying quantity of money. Really terrifying. And we're going to be taking that money and doing some great things with it for charity. Absolutely incredible things. I'm very proud of this community, very proud of the 6,345 people who are here to sit down, relax, get absolutely pissed and um, enjoy some beverages, Christmas cheer and relax. And if this is your first Jingle Jam, give me a shout in chat. Tell me this is your first Jingle Jam That's and we'll welcome you. Jingle Jam's a lovely place, it's very welcoming. It's all about sitting down, enjoying warm cups of teas, in my case getting absolutely pissed as we're playing um, as we're playing Open TTD, which is a game for alcoholics and tycoons, and guess what? That's me. Oh my goodness, we've got a lot of got a lot of Jingle Jam virgins in chat. Hello there. So Jingle Jam, it was an event started by the Yogscast uh, ten years ago. And it just gets bigger every year. And this year, I think, is probably my favourite bundle of games 
uh, in the charity hamper. Certainly it's got the most games that appeal to me, and I mean if you enjoy my kind of videos, then chances are you're going to love them. If you've never bought Prison Architect, for example, but you've seen my videos on it, you might as well buy it now and give all the money to charity. Paradox Interactive, who make Prison Architect, they get nothing. They don't get any of that money. Charity gets that money. I get none of that money. Charity gets that money. I don't even get to see any of that money until eventually I buy all of the shares in all of the charities on stream now, close them down, liquidate their assets, and then become a millionaire. Yes, it's all part of my master plan. Mm. Mm. <sighs> oh god, I just swallowed a cube of ice in my gin and tonic. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh goodness. But yeah, if you've never heard of the Yogs cast, they made a whole bunch of Minecraft stuff back in the day. And not just also, I realize, not just a thank you to all the people who are watching. Also, a huge thank you to everyone who's liked the stream. All of you are just, maybe you're watching the VOD of this stream later on. Huge thank you to sitting down and giving it a watch. Hope you have a lovely time. How much is Swift donating? Last year I gave, I think, about £3,000 or US dollars And then I had to sit down the following day and explain to my bank that it wasn't a fraudulent transaction. And then I also had to sit down and explain um, to my accountant that my company made that donation and I don't want to pay income tax on it. <laughs> Because paying income tax on like a free grand donation is a lot of income tax. Woo! Anyway, so uh, we got all that passed off. So this year, provided, um, I I'd guess I take a look at my accounts, my company accounts. Don't see why I can't do another big charitable donation this year as well. Although, I mean, there's a lot of huge big charitable donations. Last year, I was able to hold the top spot for donations until I think it was the developer of Terraria came in and beat my donation by $69. They donated like 39, 3,069. I got beaten. It was devastating. Absolutely devastating. Now you might be wondering, what am I doing in this game? Well, I am playing as the legendary Mr. T of Yorkshire T. The year is 1900, so we don't have access to many vehicles, and we're going to be growing the small town of Harrogate into a bustling metropolis. Now, if you don't know, Harrogate is the place where Yorkshire T's headquarters are based, uh, just to the left of the wonderful city of York, uh, which I'm pretty sure has probably the highest density of charity shops of any city centre that I've ever personally seen. My goodness. What's that? Duncan Cummings challenges me to link all of the towns and cities with a single railway line. That's not happening. You see, using trains is too easy. Instead, I'm going to be using boats, chat. We're going to be using boats. This map also has literally everything. It has Guernsey, but it's misspelled, which is one of the Channel Islands. It's got the Isle of Scilly. It's where a whole bunch of silly things happen. It's got Penzance. Um, fun fact about Penzance... It has a very disproportionately large um, population of, uh, uh, what's, I'm pretty sure it's got a very large disproportionate population of homeless people due to the fact that there's a train line running between it and London, and it's the last stop. Now, if you want to do something about that, you can donate to charity. And this is one of your opportunities, chat, to donate to charity and help people this Christmas they can you can literally help people this christmas you'll be handing cups of tea directly into their hands via the medium of charity and isn't that just lovely isn't that lovely also um i'm going to be as i mentioned doing literally 90 percent of everything via boats because people want to use trains but boats garbage Okay, no, boats, yeah, boats are actually garbage. If you ask players in this game, what feature would they like to see removed? It's always boats. No one likes using boats in this game, but I love them. For the sole reason that, of course, Britannia does rule the waves, boaty boys are brilliant, but my personal favourite reason, why the heck not? I have to kind of, like, limit myself, because otherwise my power level, I'm a bit like Shaggy, you see. And if my power level is too insane, then none of the players are ever going to be able to get close to my company profit margins. Uh, we did a trial of this last night, and around about the 30 minute mark, my company was worth, actually no, it was around about the 2 hour mark, my company was worth 200 times what the next company was worth. Um, yeah. 
Anyway, Lewis is jumping in, so I'm pretty sure I have to unmute myself and say hi. You're about to meet a whole bunch of people from the Oxcast chat, so get ready to be overwhelmed. I'm going to fade out the music. Let's go. There's a lot of people. Hello. Welcome back. Hello. Welcome back. Hello. 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 A celebration of donating money to charity and also All right, This is Lewis of the Oxcast, by the badly. way. Yeah. Heads up. Um, my mic's off. I've He's had my enough boss. Jingle jam. I've had enough jingle cats. Hello. We're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> get all the audio. Picks. I was really impressed that you stuck wow. through like six hours Hello. of that. We're, we're, we've got a whole bunch of people to play some some train games. We got Duncan. We got Leo. Hey. Hello. We got Pedguin. Hello. We got Daltos. Wow. Oh. Who else we got? You're right, bud. Doesn't sound like it. Never. That's enough. That's enough, people. Uh, well, well, other people are here. Well, well, fuck you, Lewis. Wow. <laughs> fuck you, Lewis. I quit. Spiff, really? Spiff. That's it. I'm out of the Yogs Coast now. I can't see who's on What do you have to say? You make a Alex, single deep fake and again. suddenly no one wants to talk to you. <laughs> we got like nine people here. Oh, God. Alex. Who? Welcome, Chad. Who did that? We got a... Uh, and Ben. Ben's here, apparently. We've got a... Alex the Rambler, yep. how you doing, Alex Rambler? Um, good to see you. We've oh got... my God, what the fuck was Do you that sign up for the Sam, ocean? We've got. You, you can't put that in the you map. That's illegal. Oh, no, we got that a map. Actually illegal. Of the UK. Oh my UK. God. Whoa. I've got a bomb. Um, <gasps> wow. So as you can see, it's on its side. Don't worry about that. <laughs> um, Flat Earth confirmed. This is the UK. Apparently, it's lying down. It's tired. It's drunk. It's had enough. How are you um, feeling, by the way? This is Ireland. <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot there is Ireland in there. Yeah. This is Bristol here. This is where we are. Uh, let me well, this is where the Yogs Coast are. I'm not here. They're there like is actually here. a statue that looks like Camp Queen Square's uh, statue in southeast Bristol. There? Apparently, I'm not allowed to zoom in any further. Than uh, this. There is? <laughs> That's going to be a problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. Queen this is Bristol here. Okay, so this is where we are, everyone. Um... Dibs. Don't worry, chat. So, as soon as we get this set up, I will, right I will mute nice all of them port. and it we can discuss our business strategy. Our business strategy. Port. It's quite a hilly map, isn't it? You can donate to the bundle. There's a link. Um, <laughs> everyone is going to make company. Uh, we've got Lewis Transport. We've got Ben's buses. Ben, hello. Hello. Where are you? Um, I'm in the office, but I've got to shoot off in a bit. I'm here to make sure everything works. And once you get once, because I'm running the server. Okay, then, cool. Go, go Where were you get. born? Well, I'm from Colchester. So I was Colchester, try that's my name. Where Ben's from. Metropolis. That's where my nan used to live. I know where Colchester is. Shit, it's right here. Look. I'm going to be in Ireland. <laughs> Look how beautiful Colchester is. Ooh. A lovely nice. little town. Yeah, I'm in Dublin. So you'll have to share with me if you're going to be in I'm Ireland. I'm going to go in yeah. Limerick. Okay. Ben, you have to in Colchester. I'm sorry, that's how it works. It's, no, we're yeah, we're, I'm, I'm we're setting up where we were born. Um, Duncan, where were you born? God, where was I born? Ireland. You were you born in Ireland? Ireland? <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound like you were, Duncan. <laughs> I think you were born Very in Very strong Irish Devon. accent. I'm thinking Taunton should be I where you were. I was born in stuff. London. You were born in London? Yeah. No, I was born in London. I was born in. <laughs> All right, where did you grow up? Brentford. I was born Where did you and grow I lived up? I in Brentford until I was seven years old. And I moved to uh, a town in uh, Devon uh, which was near Barnstable. Near Barnstable, is that? Oh, okay. The Barnstable's here. Barnstable. You can start in Barnstable, Duncan. No, I'm, I'm, I'm Irish. No. Leo, where are you starting? <laughs> I am from Newcastle. No, you're not. Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> you're not here. How I pronounced Newcastle. <laughs> none, of these, Newcastle. none of you are telling me the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm frustrated. Why, I pet? You are not born. You, you would. Where we? Where did oh you grow up? God, Come on. Chat, these people are mad. I'm not telling you that information. Okay. Fucking hell! Not she's like still growing up. up. Like she. Yeah. <laughs> Simon <laughs> Clark. <laughs> yeah, I'm Bristol. growing up in Bristol right now. Simon so. Clark. Why can't Cambridge. I rename this thing? Simon Clark is going to start in, in, or maybe Oxford. Well, well I got. I, I grew up in Bath, so I feel like. It, which incidentally uh, is disappointingly small, a, f a feeling I'm familiar with, but like it's yeah. tiny in this map. <laughs> Just oh, like you. Too. Oh my god, Bath is, is very disappointing. We are playing uh, in 1900, that's mm. why I know. What? Yeah, but Bath yeah, was big really? in Roman times. We got Bath horses. Was the biggest we're, playing, the we're playing in oh, 1900, Roman but time. Milton Keynes exists. Oh, so we have I don't see then. any Romans here now, do you? Let me set the theme. Yeah. The year is 1900. Uh, we've just bought the ball 
Uh, I think you should take a bath. Scott has just gone to the Antarctic. We've um, we've established Yorkshire THQ in Harrogate, obviously. Spiff, <laughs> very standard. Um, and the, the, the Spiffy Brit has been born. Simon Clark has been born in, in Great England Shire. Uh, Penguin is born, born in Leicester. Mm -hmm. Theo be born in God knows where. Oh. I grew up <laughs> under a rock. I grew up over here. Merry old London, sure. With Ben, oh Daltos was way over to the to the left. To the left, side. you got to go That's pretty far away. Right, I'm going to actually mute this, and we're going to start our first business like, check. Uh, I'm going to organise our business check. Right now, I love the Yorks cast, but the issue is they're currently deciding where to start, and they're deciding where to start based of who was born where. Where was I born? Chat irrelevant. They don't know, so it doesn't matter. I, I don't know where necessarily I was born, but I know where my heart lies. My heart lies in Harrogate with the Yorkshire THQ. However, am I going to say I was born there? No, for the sole reason that I'm going to say that I was born in London. Because if I get to claim London, well, that's great, because it has the highest population in the game. And then we're able to take the population of London, load them onto boats, which they aren't able to escape from. Then we're going to sail them up the coast of England and deposit them in Harrogate. We will be forcing them to start new lives in the Harrogate Tea farms and they will work till they die and then their children will continue their jobs and they will continue growing tea and we will make Harrogate the biggest city in the universe. Do you like that chat? I, I'm glad you all agree. You all agree with my excellent plan of making Harrogate big. Big Harrogate. Biggest Harrogate in the universe. Chat, it's not war crimes. You're on my board of directors now, chat. So you are just as... You're as in, like... You're as in, like, in deep with this as I am, okay? Everyone in chat tonight, you are all part of the board of directors of Yorkshire Tea. Meaning you are all technically responsible for my actions. I hope you're ready for this. We're going to make Harrogate bigger than London. That is the aim for the end of this stream. London is at a meager 4,300 people living there. Harrogate, 145. And the game's off, ladies and gentlemen, which means we have basically no time to lose to immediately establish the most dominant tram line in central London that the world has ever seen. So how to establish a tram line? Simply set it up like so. Then we're going to want to do something pretty insane. We're going to want to build a, uh, a dock, actually, uh, which is not what most people normally do at the start of an open TTD game because boats are usually seen as being garbage. However, the game uh, can't simply, the game can't stop me. And we're gonna be floating on out, uh, out of the River Thames here. Uh, there we go. Let me just quickly build a, a bit, bit of a little canal. We're going to canal our way into central London. Bam, get ourselves our first dock down. Uh, then we need to get a uh, tramway set up so that the trams can lead and offload their humans next to the fantastic London docks. There we go. Now, um, we are starting in 1900s, which isn't necessarily normal for Open TTD players. Most Open TTD players will be used to starting uh, much later in the game where we have things like planes uh, we are we do not have the luxury of planes today ladies and gentlemen we are doing things the old-fashioned way with paddle boats and steamers and um it's gonna go great just you watch so immediately we've got our rough idea of what we want london to look like vaguely set up uh london should just basically look like a whole bunch of trams aggressively plastered on top of each other, uh, like so. Oh wait, I've accidentally been up the train stations. Pro tip, considering we can't get these uh, train, well, the tram station to attach to the docks, uh, if you hold down control, you can link stations even if they don't attach to each other. This is brilliant because it allows me to exploit the game by putting a uh, station down way over here and still somehow having it connect to the docks. This is going to allow us to illegally funnel millions of people out of the city of London and onto boats where they will never see their family again. Remember, this is a charity stream, so we'd also like to take a moment to pause and reflect on um, charity and uh, what it means to be charitable because I don't know what it means to be charitable. Anyway, immediately we need to continue extending the canal into the lovely uh, 
this place that is Harrogood. Now, sadly, the canal has to go through farmland, and farmlands are very expensive to build through, but sometimes in live chat, you just have to spend a bit of money to make a bit of money. That's uh, one of the most famous things that someone somewhere has said, and you can quote me on that. That's a thing that someone has said. Now we're going to place down Harrogate Docks, a uh, famous dockyard, trust me, very famous. They 100% have some docks right here. Uh, then we're going to, of course, set up some train sta well, tram stations here, but that's later on. We might as well just build a tram line through central Harrogate, perfect. And now we need to just simply build our lovely way through, and bam, we have ourselves the first Harrogate dock line of uh, chaos and beautifulness. Uh, just give me a second chat. One second chat. Sorry chat, I'm back. I just had to quickly pass on the uh, very confidential and secret details of uh, immortality to my uh, fiance because she needed to know, um, just temporarily. <laughs> also, Georgie, my corgi, wanted to say hi. Now, we've basically got the uh, the fundamentals of our our canal set up. We've built a canal all the way from the coast of Grimsby going straight into central Harrogate. This is a canal going through Yorkshire, something that most people would call insane, but I would like to refer to as simply art. Now we are going to want a massive passenger steamer, and so for that we're going to get ourselves something a bit cheaper. Um, as much as I love the Fastnet paddle boat, uh, you know what, we might as well. We're going to go into debt chat. We're going to spend a huge amount of money, but sometimes you've got to spend money to make money. So we're bam, 60 grand down the drain. We've just bought ourselves a paddle steamer. Um, and it's going to, we just need to set up some basic like instructions for it to go to the London docks and fully load on passengers. But chat, you're going to be wondering, no one's going to want to get on this boat because hardly anyone lives near London docks. Well, that's a lie. Seven people just hopped on it. But more importantly, it's going to take ages for us to fill up uh, fill up with people at London Docks. So what do you do? Well, instead, you need to make yourselves trams because these are the fastest ways of moving people in the 1900s. So we're going to get a tram, get it to go over to London Central, fully load on people, then go to London Docks, and then at London Docks, it's going to have one simple job. It will unload all but transfer. This means that it is going to offload the people into the station of London docks and they won't be able to leave. But equally, they won't be able to leave unless something picks them up at London docks. However, none of the trams will be picking people up. London docks is simply a drop-off point. The only way to leave London docks is via the boat. And the best thing is you have to pay to get on the boat. Where does the boat take you? Well, the boat is going to go on an absolutely incredible journey, which I need to map on out. It's going to go first to this boy, then to this boy, then to this boy over here, uh, then to this boy, 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 then to this boy. I feel like I'm saying boy more than a bloody... God of War commercial, and then finally into this boy, and actually we could probably do one more boy, there we go. And this should be enough to take us right the way over to the Harrogate Dockyards, perfect. So all I have to do now is to talk to the ship and get the ship to follow all of these boys. It's fantastic. Chat, stop repeating boy, okay? If I swear I see one more person saying boy, I will personally go into the chat and ban that person. Don't make me. Okay, I've seen someone do... Okay, no, a lot of people are doing it. I can't I can't ban that many people. I, I don't have the fingers. I don't have that many fingers at all. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, mods. I'm so sorry. Chat, stop. Behave, chat. Behave. Right, anyway, we're going to go to this boy, then the whole boy, and then finally the Leeds boy, and then we're going to finish it off by going to the Harrogate docks. And now all I need to do is map the entire pathway back again. 
<laughs> now this is frustrating work, but once you get it set up once, that's it. It's running for the rest of the game. So all we have to do is get it running once, then everyone's happy, everything's good in the world, everything's fine and dandy, and we'll, most importantly, we'll be making a lot of money. So there we go, bam, and Southworld Boy, and Clacton on Sea Boy, and Southend on Sea Boy, and then finally back to the London docks. Perfect. Now, you will already notice our first tram has gone to London Central, and there are now 147 people waiting for us at London Central. This naturally means that we need more trams to pick people up at London Central. So we're gonna buy ourselves 10 trams. And this might not even be enough. We now have 10 trams on this one line, stealing people from central London, ferrying them to a dock, forcefully poking them onto a boat, sailing them off the coast of England, and then dumping them to work in the tea plantations, uh, tea farms, sorry. Oh my God, there you go. There you go. Chat, you're getting bullied by slow mode. Well, you deserve it for saying the word boy, okay? Lewis asked for me. Okay, I'll be back. I've just spent no hello the entirety Down of the stream oh, connecting what Lewis, I thought was um, a coal plant to the port. Oh. Lewis, it's not, it's I heard you asked for me. Oh, I don't take oh. clay. Oops. The spiffing Brit. Yes. Welcome back to hello. The York Sales Live 2020. Though, hello. I'm sorry, this is such a mess. No, it's, all it's of absolutely energy. fantastic. Don't worry. It's beautiful. I love it. Yorkshire TV HQ, I see, is set up here. Yes, so my aim is, by the end of the stream, have London be a smaller city than Harrogate. Okay. Mm. What? A very noble goal yes. that I will be delighted in helping you with. Harrogate, you know horse? A, a, a tiny village, still today, with a population of 145 people. Accurate today. Um, I've been there. It's, it's lovely. lovely. It's the home very of Yorkshire fair. Tea. Duncan. <clears throat> What are you? What are you drinking right now? I've got a uh, Empress Gin. Oh, not Ooh. the Yorkshire tea that you were drinking earlier. N that was several hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been cold by now. Yeah. It's past the sunrise. The sun <laughs> yeah, I, I, heard that, I like that Yorkshire biscuit tea. That's good. I bought a box of it. Biscuit in. brew is incredible, and I, I like. Mm. Not many people know about it. That's the thing. No. Most people think it's weird. They're the main reason you drink. It, is, uh, it sounds weird, but it actually tastes real good. Right, drink Yorkshire tea yeah. due to the water in Yorkshire. Okay. I'm going to let these the guys set up their companies, and then I'm going to crush them. Okay, okay. nice. Yeah, good, luck. Good, good luck with that. Yeah, good luck exactly with that, Lewis. Win here. I'm, guys, I hate I'm to tell you, I think we need a, a gigger alive with, with Lewis. <laughs> with the horses. <laughs> I, I have no plans to win this one because I'm going yeah. boats. So I'm going. Well, I'm going. I'm going boats, boats as well, Duncan. Rocking. But I'm going to fucking ah. smash you all with boats. You're, not, you're spending all your initial loan making canals. I just oh. have. I've built the legendary Yorkshire Canal going off the coast Where's of that? Grimsby into central Harrogate. Oh yeah. There you have. I've um. I think I've already Yorkshire. created a more efficient service than Arriva. So I'm, I've already achieved my goal. You might as well Where alter four, Alex. You've done it. Yep. I've done it. I've won Where the game. So for those of you that don't know what Arriva is, chat, Arriva is the worst well, train I'll tell you in a I provider great? in the UK. Is that a boring car to be? Yeah, let's change and I'll be that. back in a bit. There we go. Um, that's enough of them, chat. They're having a great time. They're setting up their companies, doing incredible things. What are we doing? We're going to absolutely panel beat them, okay? You did hear Lewis Brindley there threatening us with the fact that he's going to beat us at the game. Lewis is very good at open TTD. The only other person here who I would actually say potentially stands the chance of beating us. However, he's not going to, uh, simply for the sole reason that we're incredible. We've now got the London tram station. The London tram station already filling up with people. How's London Central doing? 298 people at London Central. We need more trams. More trams are necessary, chat. Let's go. There we go. More trams. Let's get them going and send them away. And uh, how's London Docks doing? 500 people waiting at London Docks. Oh no, we need to get ourselves another boat. We need another boat. Let's clone this ship. Let's go, London Docks, away you go. Uh, we've got to start filling people up onto these boats, sending them up to Yorkshire. That's what we've got to do. Uh, Spiff say trams rights. Trams rights are human rights, chat. Um, they are... 
Oh, God. Um, now, when it comes to Harrogate itself, we have Harrogate docks here. Harrogate docks are going to be able to pick up people, but they're not going to actually be able to take many people due to the fact that Harrogate isn't a very large place yet. However, um, Ood, are you saying, Spiff, can we name the boats? Yeah, you can name the boats, 100%. Chat, if you recommend names for the boats, you can have a boat. I mean, I know the first one, you're going to want it to be called Boaty Boy. So instead of Ship One, bam, we're going to have Boaty Boy. And then I want, um, I'm, I'm actually going to personally name the second one as well. Oh my God, it's already full with 720 people. <laughs> this is going to be Floaty Moke Float Face. There we go. And look at it float off. And my goodness, we're already off to a flying start. Boat's going at an incredible 45 kilometers an hour. And it's doing incredible. It's doing absolutely incredible, chat. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I'm a bit concerned that maybe the boats won't fit through that bit of the canal, but I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll work it out. Now, one thing we need to do is uh, get Harrogate linked up in some way to Leeds so that we can be making money from it. Although actually I think it might be a good idea just to get a, a basic money maker going. And for that I think we should get a Sheffield uh, tram line set up. And uh, this Sheffield tram line I wanted to go, I wanted to go to um, the lovely place that is Leeds. That's a lie actually, Leeds isn't lovely at all in the slightest. If you're from Leeds, I'm so sorry. Um, I, I can't do anything to help you. Not even I can fix leads. Not even I. And trust me, I've tried. I've really tried with leads. But it's just not going to happen. Anyway, we need to uh, build our lovely expensive tram line and connect ourselves up. We are technically hemorrhaging funds, hem hemorrhaging funds at the moment. But once we get our first boat arriving in Harrogate, we're going to immediately rocket up the profit graphs. So until then, it's mostly just designing tramways that can vaguely keep us afloat in terms of money making. So once again, bam, passenger tram. Your job is to go here and then go to here. It is as simple as that. These trams, they cost a thousand, they make about 1,500 a year, so they're not incredible, but by the end of the game we're going to have about 200 of them, so they're going to be making a decent bit of money, uh, which is worth it. Now, you want a boat to be named Boy Boy. I think it makes sense for me to just call a Boy Boy, uh, a Boy Boy Boy. Boy, there you go, you can get renamed. Boy Boy, Boy Boy Boy. England England is such a weird language. <laughs> England is such <laughs> English is a very weird language, ladies and gentlemen. It's absolutely absolutely weird and creative. How's London Docks doing? Uh, 905 people have now been deposited here. Central London, 305 people waiting. London Central, uh, 225. And we haven't even got started on London South. My goodness, how are these little trams doing? Are they making a bit of money? They're making about £60, so they're not going to cost us money to maintain, but their job isn't to make us money. They could be losing money and I wouldn't care. Their job is to simply steal children from their homes at night. That's right, these are naughty children who don't like charity live streams. We're going to sweep into their bedrooms, take them out of their beds, drop them off on London docks, load them onto boats, sail them out the canal, take them right the way up, uh, up the coast, and then drop them off into the lovely tea, tea farms of, uh, of Yorkshire. It's going to be beautiful. Here's a tea farm here. It produces grain, which is another way of describing tea. As you know, this is called Easingwood Ar Arable Farm. Harrogate's only got a quarry, apparently. Is this where we mine the tea out of the ground? I suppose I can get behind that. I can, I can support that. I can help them. Um, Anyway, I'll tell you what we will need. We'll need a few more trams here. So let's get one more tram going. Now we are in the red, and we're going to be in the red for a bit until this first boat comes through. We've only got 30 grand more worth of loan, so oh, it's going to be it's going to be a tight one, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a tight one. We can't even afford to buy another boat. That is how financially shot the system is at the moment. The canal should be called the Queen's Passage. <laughs> What, do you want to rename the River Thames to the Queen's Passage? Very well. <clears throat> the Queen's Rear Passage. How, how am I spelling passage? Pa passage? 
<laughs> the Queen's Ray Passage, okay? I can't spell tonight, chat. I've had gin and tonic and lots of tea today, and it's Christmas, for goodness sake. It's Christmas, perfect. I've spelled it perfectly. Passage. It's, of course, it's passage. Yes, passage. Oh, here it comes. It's Boaty Boy, ladies and gentlemen. Boaty Boy is rocketing down the Hull Canal. He's going right the way down to Harrogate. We're getting nice and close down to Harrogate now. Uh, he's got to, of course, get past the whole boy and then the boy boy. And um, then uh, maybe even maybe even there's a... The sequel to Hull Boy is, of course, um, not Grimsby Boy 2, but rather Femme Boy... Oh, that joke gets me too, too, too easily. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, goodness. Now, when it comes to uh, the charity, once again, I notice there's 9,000 people here, so I'll vaguely explain what's happening. Um, basically, there's a Yogscast event called the Jingle Jam Bundle, where you can donate £25 to charity using the link in the description. You can pick a charity of your choice from the list. Uh, after you get spend your £25, you get £500 worth of games, including my personal favourite, Prison Architect uh, and... Uh, Rise of Industry is on there as well. Rise of Industry is the modern remake of this game, which I'm actually a big fan of. So uh, don't ask why we're playing... Well, we, I know why we're playing this game. We're playing this game because uh, Rise of Industry doesn't have a multiplayer mode, no matter how much I've asked the developer. Now, when it comes to money-making, Green is actually in the lead. The only issue is Green has massively limited themselves because their trains aren't actually going to make that much money. Um, Green's made a big issue here. Yeah, this is terrible. Uh, because what Green is doing is they're loading people onto Bristol Transfer, taking them to the city of Bath. Now they're taking... What are they even able to carry? What does this train even... What does it hold? It's a wheel coach. I, capacities? The passengers are male. Okay, well the idea is... Okay, so I can see what the player wants to do. The player wants to take people from Bristol and drop them off at Salisbury, right? And that makes sense, because that way you could, you've traveled them a decent distance, you'll make decent money. The only issue is, everyone who gets on at Bristol gets dropped off at Bath instead of Salisbury, meaning, because that's how the game works, meaning you hardly get any money, because you're effectively moving the same distance as a bus. So this, this train is going to make, at maximum, 2000 a year. Let's see how our boat's going to do, because he's almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Boaty Boy is floating down the river now as we ease on into the red. There we go, we can take out one load. We've only got one more loan after this. One last loan. <laughs> oh God, how are these trams doing? These trams are doing good, 171 pounds. Nice stuff, trams. Nice stuff indeed. How's Central Sheffield doing? Lots of people in Central Sheffield. And Central Leeds, my goodness. Now, when it comes to Central Harrogate, we're almost there, chat. We're very close, very close. 720 people have all come from uh, from Central London docks. It has taken, well, it has cost us over £7,700 to move this boat from London all the way up here. But the time is here, ladies and gentlemen. The Titanic. Okay, we're naming one the Titanic. That's, of course, happening. My goodness. It's going to be brilliant. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. We're almost there. We're almost there, Boaty Boy. How much money do you make? How much money? Tell me, Boaty Boy. It best be at least 20 grand. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise we're going to have to start over not doing this. <laughs> Can the boats cross each other in the canal? Yes. This is the one overpowered feature of boats in Open TTD. They don't have a collision box, meaning uh, you can have as many boats on one route as possible, whereas trains can collide with each other. Anyway, we've arrived at Harrogate, we're unloading all of the people, and do 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 99,000 pounds! Let's go, chat! We're in the fucking money! <laughs> right, immediately we're cloning Boaty Boy, we're getting another one. This is not Boaty Boy 2, Send, we're sending you off straight away. You are being named the T-Tanic. Wabam, Titanic away. We're going to see the operating profit graphs are going to go insane. Notice how we're down at the bottom here on the operating profit graphs. Things are about to go in the opposite direction. Now, of course, we need to make sure that the London docks are getting loaded up with as many trams as possible. <laughs> God, look at all the trams breaking down. That is insane. 
Um, and so that means we need to clone even more trams out onto the road. Probably we're going to need about another 50, I reckon. Um, we're going to need about 50 road vehicles, yeah. So there we go. We're going to clone some more out. Well, bam, there we go. We're up to 40 now. And I also need to actually set up this tram route down here. I realize I haven't even done that. So, um, yeah, let's uh, set up a quick tram route here and go with and connect it up like so. Uh, and now we can move people from London South into London Docks as well via this medium here. Oh my goodness, Titanic got loaded up immediately. There are 2,000 people at London Docks. 2,000 people. Two. My God. 2,000 people are just gonna be dumped into the middle of the wilderness in Harrogate, left to fend for themselves. And potentially, here comes the next boat as well. Floaty McFloatface is coming into Harrogate Docks. Harrogate Docks, it's got 14 people waiting there. We need to improve that statistic by um, setting up some transfers. Um, how's the boat, oh, the boat is broken down. Oh, I realize I need to build a couple of, uh, I need to build a couple of ship depots, chat. Uh, because ship depots allow boats to get repaired and these old-fashioned boats do have quite a high chance of breaking down on their journey so uh, we'll whack down a few of those and now we need to get ourselves a, um, a transfer system so that we can get people dropped off at Harrogate docks uh, so that they can get on the boats um, this is effectively a way of just choosing the system so it looks like there are more people actually being transported around Harrogate than there actually are um, and so the way we're going to do this is by building a tram line a very expensive 17 grand tram line right the way into central York oh my god I'm out of money again oh my goodness chat you can't tell me that this is oh Lewis wants me again okay I'm coming in it's from London to come and look hello at the train. <laughs> <laughs> there he is oh, there hello he is. You can't make two companies, make. Biff. The, I haven't made two companies. I haven't. I haven't made two companies. What are you on about? This is perfect. Perfectly <laughs> balanced. Biff. It's boats. Boats are the worst right? vehicle in the game. Everyone. All these passengers. Boats aren't the worst vehicle. Boats are the best. <laughs> yeah, boats are one of the best vehicles, I'd say. <laughs> I couldn't die with my prediction. 100% accurate. In fact, 97% accurate. Uh, oh. And then it fucks off. And um, Smith has enough money to flood the rest of England for the rest of the game. Everywhere will so, become a boat halfway <laughs> by the end of the stream. I have uh, oh, done what most... Are you going most... ahead for that plan to sink whales? I, uh, yes, <laughs> you oh, I did I'm mention doing. my plan to sink whales. I was going to leave it as a surprise, but yes, if, if the uh, stream this evening gets a million... <laughs> if this gets a million pounds to charity, I will sink whales oh, into the ocean. <laughs> yeah. You stole my idea! Wait, Fuck what? It. Yeah, if we raise a million pounds, we will sink whales. You there you me? go. <laughs> if you're in Wales wow. and just are really upset with the, the country you're living in, we'll be doing you a favour, so donate to charity. Anyway, love you whales, people. Do I have to sink somewhere whales else then? Because I was going to sink whales. You can sink whales I've... too. <laughs> I've already done... But I don't want to. I had my... That was my grand idea. That was my big reveal at the end Ooh, of the stream. Whales. You just came in here. Oh, whales. Uh, I've already done what most um, uh, transport companies have done, and I've taken more loans from the government. Oh, oh, it's oh a yeah. Great oh, thing oh, to do. Stop. Stop. I went up to 29... Uh, I went up to 290,000. I was one loan away from bankruptcy until the boat arrived and now everything's fine for the rest of the game <laughs> hey. uh, i'm in trouble okay now let's have a look and see who is the most beautiful company because that's important so what are the qualifications for that well not yeah. what you've done leo it's oh. fucking shit oh. <laughs> the opposite of you oh. <laughs> oh. well we could we could judge the most beautiful company by the most beautiful company owner how's that spiff i think it's still you it's still me uh, well, when i was meaning company beautiful. manager yeah. yeah you can if you feel anything are you just shitting on everyone else well he he's gonna win he's so a he's editor like, leo of course he's doing that Listen, I reckon I could start half an hour late. How long have we? Oh, an hour late. Oh, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I reckon an hour late and still be all right. All what right, we then. got here. So we got some shitty roads here. Oh. Out by whoever the fuck this is. Ooh. 
Um, hmm. Who is this? Duncan set up some canals. This is okay. Actually, Duncan... Well done, Duncan. You got an okay. The canal. I feel like you could have just gone down here and up the river. You didn't have to build a canal here. But you, you know what? Well, no, it's oh. one... Right, I'm going to be right back, chat. This is um, absolutely incredible stuff. I hope, you, I hope you're loving all of this incredible stuff. Oh, and I'm back. Sorry, I just had to uh, have a quick chat with someone. Look at that graph. Should we look at the graph? Oh, look at that graph! Look at that graph! Oh my goodness. To retrofit them, so... I assume I do that bad. I uh, assume I do Lewis, oh, no. Lewis, take a look at the graph, please. Oh, the the graph. income graph? Take a look at the operating the profit, profit graph. Profit Oh, I am erect right now. My operating profit graph is majestic. Big Brit has got a boner. Full sundial. Big Brit is around. When I see a this is what lady. I love to see. This is the only thing that does it for me. Can I, oh, look uh, at that dip. Look at that dip. You showed it to oh, many people. I showed it to too many people. I'm shy. You whipped it out and then you oh, no. oh, It's embarrassing, guys. Wow. Very disappointing. Happens to one in five friends. Oh, friends. God. You can get a pill for that. Me. So It'll last you, like, you know, a couple of hours. Wasn't uh, Lewis? You probably know this. Wasn't Viagra discovered by accident in that it was a side effect of a heart medication? Yes. And yes. they did like a. Right, I'm muting this. Simon's going on a bloody tangent about heart medication and Viagra chat. You don't need that. So as you can see, um, we're doing great. Absolutely fantastic. We've got our first um, trams doing transfers. Now these trams doing transfers, each time they drop someone off, they're able to drop off like 12 people in Harrogate docks. Uh, from York. So what we can do now is similar to what we have set up in London where we're funneling people from London onto a boat and then taking them up the coast to um, taking them then up the coast to like uh, to Harrogate. We're going to be doing it in reverse as well where we're going to be funneling people from Leeds, Sheffield and Bradford into Harrogate and then funneling them down the coast into London. And uh, this is going to basically give us infinite money. Uh, because it means that 99,000 that we get from dropping people off in Harrogate, we'll get it again when we drop people off from York, technically into central London. HMS Riano Keeves, very well. That'll be the next one. Yeah, that'll be the next one. Ah, God, what a beautiful, beautiful setup that I have. There are currently 4,000 people in London docks. Um, central London tram station, it's got a lot of people waiting there. Um... 2,346 people waiting in central London to get on a tram. These little trams making us £400 a year. These tiny little trams are making us money, which is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Oh my goodness, here comes the next boat. Something tells me, I mean, I could, I could use this money to buy another boat or I could use it to pay off my loan. I should use it to just buy another boat, shouldn't I, chat? Yeah, I really should. I really should. Build a monument to hardy seamen? Of course. To the hardiest seamen leading our boats into glorious battle. Ah, oh, it makes perfect sense. Oh my goodness, we are getting so low on funds. This boat needs to speed up. Titanic, go. Faster, Titanic, go. Speed, speed, speed. We've got Titanic 2 is on its way. Since when do I have Titanic 2? Do I make a second Titanic? Oh, I, I didn't rename it, did I? Oh, did I? I'm pretty sure I did. Well, Titanic 2 can be uh, renamed to um, HMS Rianu Keeves. There we go. Bam. There we go. Uh, you'll, need, uh, you'll need three boats more. Um, name them Boats Howard. No, they'll just be various iterations of Skyrim. Please optimize the canal. Look, I'll optimize the canal when I have money. But the issue is... At the moment, the um, the canals is basically surrounded by farmland, which is one of the most expensive things to try and um, build on, basically. So uh, we can't we can't do anything. Oh my God, we're getting close on that loan, minus two thousand pounds. Oh jeez, oh jeez, <laughs> we need more boats. We need more boats. There must be another boat coming in soon after. There is, there is. We've got the HMS Rio Keeves coming in soon after this. So this will be two hundred thousand in the bank. 
this boat's coming back, which is doing that, that's doing good stuff. We do still need a lot more boats because there's now four thousand four hundred passengers here. That's a, that's literally five boatloads just waiting here. In fact, it's even more than that. It, it feels like six boatloads. We are very much in the red now. In fact, we're so in the red. I'm going to um, I'm going to pull emergency strat A, and um, get this tram to go into the depot. We're going to start selling a couple of garbage trams, uh, and you as well, tram. Road vehicle unknown. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get you into the depot and we're gonna sell you. There we go, bam. We're gonna sell you, we get a grand. It's it's necessary, it is necessary. We're gonna sell you as well. We can sell you as well, there we go. Get into the depot, we're selling you, we need the money. Although I'm pretty sure the boat is almost here. It's almost there, but we've gotta just keep on selling. Gotta sell vehicles, chat. <laughs> just, it's economics 101. You gotta spend money to make money. But good news, uh, Boaty Boy has come back to reload on people and then he'll be on his way. Although we do definitely need way more boats. Way more boats. Here comes the next one, Titanic. Come on in, Titanic. Come on, come on, Titanic. You've just gotta, just gotta cross your way in there and then it's perfect. What's this, the Newcastle upon Time Sunderland Bulk Terminal. I actually have an idea. So um, I want to I want to do stuff with wood, because woods produce an incredible amount of resources. And my idea is to basically bring woods up the coast to Newcastle upon Time Harbour, sail them up the coast to um, this sawmill, then sail them down the coast into, um, I guess Norwich, where we can then convert the timber into goods, and then we can sail the goods back up the coast and drop them off into uh, into central London, I think is probably the uh, best thing to do. Anyway, we've got 99 grand in the bank because that's another boat that's arrived. So we're going to, um, we're going to clone that. We're going to clone Boaty Boy 2. And I'm going to actually pay off some of my loan now because I need to get it paid off else things are going to start hitting the fan. <laughs> oh my goodness. And uh, we're going to have to start planning out our next, our next business because we can't just have one line. One line isn't enough. We need more than just one line. We could do with, um, I mean, I was going to say we could do with building a train station in Harrogate, but honestly, we could just drop, we could, we can just deliver goods permanently through the canal. We don't need to use a train line. Train lines are pathetic, actually. Take over Scunthorpe entirely? I mean, I can do one better. I can just destroy Scunthorpe for you, chat. Completely. Absolutely. You still need to connect Leeds to Harrogate. I do. I do, actually. Um, and I also want to, oh my god, there's so many people in York Old Town. Um, this is actually quite important because if we can if we can get more people on then we can load these boats up with people and now look at this this boat is 91 passengers that's like 10 grand or something which we'll get this boat's coming in HMS Riano Keeves okay we're going to oh my god we just hardly have any money oh my goodness all right bam let's load get a couple more trams trams go I know I literally just sold trams and now I'm buying trams chat but don't don't, don't judge me. <laughs> oh my goodness. How, what's everyone else up to? Is anyone getting close? So the next, the next closest player is green and green's down here. As I mentioned, their trains waste money because they're going to too many, uh, they're going into too many train terminals. Like for example, train one here, it's made two grand because it's not picking up people from Bristol. If there were 400 people here in Bristol going to just Salisbury, they'd be making like 20 grand. But because the train stops off at Bath, they make like 200. It's pathetic, absolutely pathetic. So that's someone who doesn't know how to use trains correctly, and that's fine. Not everyone's as good at the game as I am. Ooh, Floaty McFloatface is arriving at London Docks to load up on passengers. Um, this is fantastic. Apparently they dropped off 2,000 worth of passengers as well. So that's nice, that keeps us going for a little bit longer. Where's the next boat coming in? Oh, here's the next boat coming in. HMS Rianu Keeves. 55 people waiting for Rianu Keeves. Um, I mean, I suppose we could order him to actually wait for full load at um, at the Harrogate docks. Yeah, you know what, let's do that. We're going to ask him to full load on people. It's it's worth it, I'm sure. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, how are you doing, chat? Are you having a lovely time? Are you enjoying watching me hopefully pwn people at OpenTTD? Oh, I realise why York has so many people. It's because they have a, a York hotel, and hotels pump out passengers like no tomorrow. That's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. This is brilliant. Anyway, um, 
HMS Riona Cubes is about to give us 90 grand, which is perfect. And then we can use that to ferry people over from York, which will uh, keep the uh, town of Harrogate growing. Harrogate could really do with more people inside of it. So um, I'm actually just going to build a basic setup of picking people up from central Harrogate and also dropping them off in uh, in York. That sounds good. Yeah, that'll make people happy, I'm sure. There we go. Set it up like so, and then build a um, build a tram thing here. I guess this will do great. And we'll do a new vehicle, passenger tram, go to Harrogate, pick up people, and then dump them off in York. And this counts as us technically moving people, which is great because the game likes that. Uh, the game really likes it when you move people. At the same time, I'm pretty sure I could set up maybe a, a bus. Oh no, not a bus one, a goods one. And then we could move mail back and forth between York and Harrogate. There we go, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, look at this. This is brilliant. Spit for my drinking Yorkshire tea. Yes, alcoholic Yorkshire tea. Winky face. <laughs> Uh, right, HMS Rianu Keeves, I'll have you skip that order now because you've loaded up with a decent amount of people. How many? 127, so that's a lot of people actually. That'll make us a decent amount of money. Central London has 3,000 people waiting there, so I need more trams to pick them up. I need a lot more trams actually. Wabam, 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 wabam. There we go. Let's go. Pick them up. Pick them up, trams. You've got a job to do. You gotta go pick up people and do stuff. Gotta go make money. And go make a lot of money for me. Spiff loves money. Spiff needs money. Ah. More stations means more growth. Oh, kind of. To an extent. It can do. Now I like this. Someone set up an entire power plant going on here. Which is exciting because that means we might be able to steal goods from them. Um, although at the same time I probably shouldn't because that would be mean. However, I'm going to do just that. Oh, right, now I am going to also clone this tram a few more times and this should hopefully grow the population of Harrogate a, a decent amount. Now I'm going to search for mail trucks and we're going to get a cargo tram and this cargo tram's job, go to York, fully load on mail, I, I think, yep, and then go to Harrogate and then if there's mail there then awesome. And there we go, just send it off. Great stuff. Oh, Lewis is starting to play, is he? Okay, right, let's see where his company is. Let's see where his company is. He is um, a strange brown colour, um, so we've got to look out for this on the map. He put Yorkshire THQ amazing. Um, whereabouts is he basing himself? Whereabouts is he basing? He might be just trying to find a place to plonk himself down, because I can't see him on the map just yet. Uh, I, I think I should probably start messing about with uh, Newcastle now. I really think I should. Yeah, I should give it a go, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's get let's start stealing stuff from Newcastle because it looks like people are going to try and grow Newcastle a decent amount. So we might as well yank from it. Oh, can we get a, a what a T O K S W H, which is HMS boat upside down? We're not doing that. That's a terrible idea. Why am I mod so bad at coming up with boat name ideas? Absolutely garbage. Right, there are 4,000 people waiting at the London docks, and I know I really shouldn't, but I'm just going to clone it and get another... We're going to get another boat. We should. £63,000 spent on this lovely boat, and it's going to make us money, so we kind of have to. How's Leeds doing? 2,000 people waiting at Leeds, 2,000 people waiting at Sheffield. Perfect. Now what do we do? Well, we get those people from Sheffield, and we dump them at the Harrogate docks. How do we do that? Well, we plop down a station... Um, here, claim that this station is also somehow connected to Leeds Town Hall, and then uh, slide this station right the way up to... Oh my goodness, we don't have enough cash. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We've got another boat coming in soon. It's just passing the Fenboy. Um, then what we do is we basically throw the people from Leeds Town Hall and drop them off at the Harrogate Dockyards, where they'll then be picked up and shipped off back to London. There we go. The Kidnapper 3000 boat. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. You're not floating McFloat Face 2. You are the Kid Kid Napper 3000. Perfect. You're going to make a lot of money. A whole lot of money. <laughs> ah, I am evil. I really am. 
Now, London as a city will grow quite quickly. It grows every nine days. Uh, Harrogate grows a little bit slower. It grows every 143 days. But now that we're moving passengers quite quickly, it should be a little bit faster. Especially now that we have a mail truck picking up mail from York. There we go. In fact, I'm pretty sure we can just clone the mail truck. In fact, we can't because I don't have a spare grand. Um, and speaking of which, I'm going to take out a loan again. God, we're getting so low on monies. I need to stop paying off this loan. I know I keep saying I need to stop paying off the loan and then I proceed to not pay off the loan. But once we've got it paid off, it basically means we have money forever. Uh, Lewis is in Dundee. Isn't that over Scotland way? It is. He set up Dundee North. Oh my God, he's doing timber. Lewis is doing timber as well. I knew this might be the case. I was going to do timber. Oh, God. Right, well, um, we're just going to have to compete. We're just going to have to compete with Lewis then. It's possible. It is more than possible. And so we have to do it. Although we don't have the money. <laughs> but as soon as the next boat comes in, we're going to build it. Although we don't have the money. So as soon as the next two boats come in, we'll consider building it. There you go. There you go, chat. Oh my god, the money is going out fast. The money is leaving us very quickly. But we do now have more boats than we've ever had before. And so that means that technically the rate at which we make money is faster than ever before. However, if we do take a look at the operating profits graph, it is still not looking good. It is not looking good at all. We are a zigzag up and down line. Someone's writing T-sucks. Who is this? Who is doing this? Which company is this? Owned by player number two transport. Oh my god. Who is player number two transport? Player number two transport. Owned by player two manager. Oh. Well, they left their company open, so um, get ready for this. They forgot to password protect their company. Well... Don't mind if I do. Let's password this bad boy so that no one else can get into it later on. One, two, three. There you go, chat. There you go. <laughs> you don't mess with Spiff. Spiff will destroy you. He will absolutely destroy you. I don't recommend it. I really don't recommend it. Oh, my God. Um, I need to actually get out of my company. Who is player two transport as well? Who's got... Oh, they took out a 200 grand loan. Jesus Christ. That's an insane amount of money. So they just spent all their money on a... This is a dummy company, evidently. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we've got to get back into my company, uh, which means I need to put in the password. Can I, do I have to do it on this screen? No, I don't. I can do... Bam, there you go. You don't see the full password there. You do know that it starts with one, two, three. <laughs> it's fine. It's a very secure password. It's it, um, No one will be able to guess it. Trust me. Trust me. It's fine. It's completely fine. Oh, my God. I've just noticed I'm a potato. I forgot to add this bit of track here, which means um, the trams couldn't go. They couldn't turn around. They could get to York, but they couldn't turn around after York. Oh my goodness. Right, so we have a whole bunch more money now, which means we can um, we can get people to the Harrogate docks sooner. Um, not that there's anyone really at the Harrogate docks, but there's another boat coming in, which is perfect. Uh, so we should probably get our next tram line set up over here to connect to the Harrogate docks, like so. And then what we'll do is we'll then loop this back and drop it off in Leeds. There we go. And perfection, lovely stuff. Now what we do is we ferry the population of Leeds over into the docks as well, and things are just looking absolutely perfect. Absolutely incredible chat. We are making, well, we're going to start making incredible money. Truly terrifying and incredible money. There we go. Do, 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 do. Drop off at Harrogate Docks. Wham, bam. They, they've just put yes, apparently. I have to join back into this company. 
I really, I, I'll do it later. As soon as I need, if, as soon as I actually need that land. Spiff, don't forget to pay the loans. Fine, I'll pay some of the loans. I will pay about 80,000 of the, of the loans. There we go. That's a decent amount of loans. Also, I know we need a lot more trams here. We need a terrifying amount of trams here. And they also have to try and beat that boat that's currently coming on up. Oh my goodness, how's the return journey to London looking? It's looking good. Uh, the reason why we're setting it up like so is because effectively it means we will double the amount of money both of these boats, of all these boats are making. Because currently they only make money from arriving at Harrogate. They barely bring anyone back to London. But if we can fully load a boat at Harrogate docks with passengers that we've stolen from the city of Leeds and the city of York, well then we're going to be moving more people. Harrogate will grow quicker and more importantly, that's great. Absolutely brilliant. Everyone likes that. So there you go. That's perfect. Uh, right, I want to get my boat set up, so uh, that means I need to get built over near Dundee Docks, or uh, well, Dundee North, so we'll get Dundee Docks built, perfect name, almost, it's like I came up with it myself. Um, then we're going to, we're going to do something terrifying at the, uh, at the North Newcastle upon Tyne uh, Industrial Harbour. We're going to create something disgusting, but it will also be kind of beautiful. We'll have to see. Uh, we're basically going to ferry a boat as soon as we have enough money to terraform the land. We're going to build a canal which goes through here and cleaves Holt Whistle in half. Then we're going to harvest wood from the forest, sail it out into the ocean to Newcastle upon time, then float it up the sea to Dundee, then steal the logs is what we're going to do. We're going to steal the logs out from underneath Lewis Brindley and his evil, evil nose of doing evilness because he's very evil naughty man or oh, we can pay off our loan now let's get that paid off mostly there we go good stuff we might as well also get a um a couple of passenger trams set up down here in london south so their job is to go to london south full load on cargo actually no just go to london south then go to here okay and clone and clone and clone oh beans i realize i made a mistake uh if they did that, then they'd start stealing the population from London Docks, and we can't have that. So London South, then London Docks, and then at London Docks, your job is to transfer. Bam. Good stuff. I am getting the hang of this game again. It had been a few months since I'd last played this game before the uh, Jingle Jam rolled around. But now I feel back into the full spirit of things, chat. We're back in action. Oh. We will get a new boat soon, okay? We'll get a new boat soon. It's going to happen. It's going to be great, and it's going to be beautiful. And most importantly, it will be powerful and a great moneymaker. How's Harrogate Docks doing? 133 passengers there now. Leeds, still 3,000 people there, so we need more trams picking people up at Leeds. We need a lot more trams picking people up at Leeds. In fact, a terrifying quantity of people in Leeds need to get on trams. Central Harrogate, how are you doing? You need, you've got bags of mail. That's great. We can clone the mail truck. We can get two mail trucks. They can do mail stuff. We can also clone this bus. This one bus can do stuff, okay? And then these other buses over here. You can also do stuff. It looks like you're doing great stuff, important stuff, of picking people up in Central York and dropping them off at the docks. That's the kind of trams we need. We need these kind of trams making great kind of money. Great money. Great trams. <laughs> hey, Blinky. Nice to have you in chat. Um, hope this is well. Uh, dropping by uh, to d uh, donate to charity. Don't donate to charity via the super chat, okay? If you want to know how you can help charity this Christmas, you go onto the Tiltify link into the description and you donate there. You can donate any amount and that all goes to charity. If you donate £25, you get a bundle of incredible games, which are worth £500. It's free games at that point. If you want to also help charity but you don't have any money, don't worry. Here's what you can do. You can... I don't know, go onto Twitter and spread awareness of the lovely thing that is the Jingle Jam charity. You can like this stream. Chat, if you take a moment and like the stream, do you want to know what happens? It means that 10 people for every like on this stream immediately get forced to take a look at the thumbnail of this stream and one of them might then see this and donate to charity, meaning you've donated to charity. It's perfect. It's, it's the greatest way to help charity. Anyway, we're dropping people off now. Um, how's it going? Yeah, we go. Yes, we are unloading people at Harrogate Docks. There are now 137 people at Harrogate Docks. Ah, oh, lovely stuff. Absolutely lovely stuff. Mm. 
Why are they all empty? Why are they empty on passengers? Don't they don't they load people up at Leeds Town Hall? What's going on here? I feel like oh, maybe the trams they probably went to the docks first. Yeah, that's what it'll be. That's what it'll be. Instant one thousand likes. Well, there it is. Oh my god, we just crossed the six thousand. We we crossed six thousand. We crossed six nine six nine likes. I missed six nine six nine likes. Chat. I took one moment to look away, and I missed sixty nine. Well, we've got sixty nine thousand likes. Chat. Oh no, here it is. It is sixty nine sixty nine likes. There we go. Chat. We did it. Can we get some cra congratulations in the chat? Congratulations. Let's get some Christmassy songs going. Oh my goodness, chat, congratulations. HMS 6969, I mean, we only, we have to now, don't we? We really do. I, it is with a proud heart that today, we here at Yorkshire Tea announce our latest boat, the HMS 6969, your mum smells. The latest in our fine fleets of boats, whose job it is, is to take Londoners out of their regular homes and drop them into the middle of nowhere in Yorkshire. And we watch as they farm for our entertainment and amusement and laugh as they mostly cry and break down on the floor as they can't fully come to terms with the fact that there is no longer an escape from the eternal suffering that now awaits them. Speaking of which, actually, now that we have a bit of money to spare, what Harrogate does need is it needs uh, some road planning because towns grow in this game, but the best way to make a town grow is to actually spend some money yourself, get some roads down, and you can vaguely encourage the direction of where the town should be growing in. So that's what we'll do. We'll get a couple of roads down here, and hopefully the AI town builder will vaguely stick to some of the uh, decent paths that I've created. I mean, this looks disgusting, but it's fine. Rejoin the, their call. Okay, fine. I'll rejoin. We'll make timber. Uh, and I will timber! be able to ship that timber to a location. Um, Lewis, I notice you've you've set up near Dundee. I was going to set up near Dundee. That's okay. okay. We can share. I think you set I don't up want to share. Places, it sounds like it wasn't a Dundee. You don't want to share? To, I don't want to share. It's Christmas. It's not a time of sharing. Yeah. <laughs> Daff. Sorry. Sorry. Did you just call me Daff? Uh oh. That is the biggest insult that you've. I can't oh believe you call God. me Daff. My goodness. Daff on the stream about as much as you. I like Daff. Yeah. That's a valid point. Timber, timber yard. Is also, I, I feel like Daff has shit. done way more than I have as well. Like he's done everything. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so how's everyone's company doing? Like I know, I know Lucy's doing timber. Garbage. Garbage. If Good you could right. summarize your company in one word and what you want to do with it, what is it? Shite. shite. You want to do uh, shite with your shite company? Okay. Non-profit. I think, I think they're going for the best looking snatch company. milk. The best looking company. I can't see a good-looking company on this map though, Lewis. Nope. Can you? Well, just you give it time, Spiff. Right. You know you. My shit's a lost Spiff. Why? Uh, uh, you need Spiff you need boys. I've done that whole. No, it's like bitch in here. You need to you need to build boys and then you add I boys have... into their commands. Where? I did. Where? You need more than the, like the one that you've got. You've got a single boy. I put them all along <laughs> the coast of Devon and then all around the coast of Ireland. Uh... What are they? Are the ships actually set up to path to the boys? Yeah. And they get lost literally as they're going past the boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, my my boats aren't quite that bad. Um, I think you've just got really dumb boat drivers. Oh, yeah, well. really. My, my drunk... horses are making like £500 a year. So I, That's good. Do I sell them? Is... No, well, they're making money. They'll, they'll pay themselves off in two years' time. You can fucking leave them, Leo. You're yeah, making money. Help with it. You don't help your time. Yeah, there's no point in getting rid of something that makes money, even if it's a tiny amount. But on the other hand, my ship nine, of course, is making minus two thousand four hundred a year. So that's not no, great. No, yeah, you might want to get rid of that one. Um, there's logs building up. But it does take him three I'm years saying, to go on know, his location. Don't so fucking worry about that. Kind of makes sense that he, you know, makes a loss for three years and then makes a shitload in one year. I'm running Where's out of money. Train? I can't. Yeah, I, 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 
Jesus Christ. I haven't got enough money. Alex Looks Rambler. Like everyone's vaguely having a breakdown, which is great. I, I, uh, I, I, just end this. <laughs> Are you? Uh... <laughs> no, you know, if you're, if you're, if it, you know, oh, just God. do what Spiff does and make 15 more companies if you lose out. It's so just, yeah. just, just keep making shell corporations. Well, until if, I, you, yeah. if you, if you don't make too many, and if you are going to make a shell corporation, delete the old one. Otherwise, we're going to run right. out of building um, okay. space very quickly. Alex, oh, I'm hello. looking at what you're doing right now, and yep. let's just look at that train line to Crawley, for example. You have two carriages on yep. that, and yet the train line could accommodate triple that number. Well, and you aren't... also only have one train doing that. Yep. So... You dunderhead. You dunderhead. You, you dunderhead. You dunder what? Mifflin. Um, be... So if you send it to your depot and then add more carriages to it, you'll get more profit per trip. So that's like mm. an, that's an easy fix, and you also only have one train. Oh, that's on the that worst thing he's ever done. Can we just can we just put that out there? <laughs> what? Good lord! The... Just 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 so people know that I'm normally all right at this. <laughs> I swear, <laughs> normally you're good. Uh, you, know? you are drunk. Oh, oh, no. I'm normally I normally know what I'm doing. I promise. <laughs> I've normally got like twenty times as much as this uh, uh, an hour in. Spiff, well, we, we, do yes, you want to slide me a hundo? Uh, I have to pay off my company <laughs> loan first. I love how Leo's now begging. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Well, I've sort of equaled out, so I'm making as much as I'm losing. That's right. Oh, that's, that's Why isn't then? the train... But I can't nope. borrow anymore. The train, oh. train is lost. So what? Sort of just... <laughs> train? How does a train get lost? lose a train! It's somewhere on the track. <laughs> Fuck me! This just just <laughs> drive it into the sea. It's all the way they can go. How are they lost? Oh, Alex, oh. are you really going for the RP game here right now with the Ariva vibe? <laughs> yes, it's working. It's working very well. This is exactly two seven zero lost. Which one? Hang on. Which 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 line in is lost? Ship six is lost. Fuck off, ship six. I think you I know fixed it. Lost. It always makes its way there. I don't know how it, why it says it's lost. It always gets there. <laughs> Also, Alex, it's another lying. easy thing to add more. So as well as, I've just realised what you've done. You've made all of your trains look like Thomas the Tank Engine with Annie and Clarabelle as the two Aww. carriages. Yeah, that's it. Which is adorable, but it is. Yeah, add more coaches, and also between, like, for example, Royal Tunbridge Wells and Ashford, you only have one line. It's enjoy, Alex. Alex. You can stuff. add another train line to that, like add a platform on each end, and you can get double the three. Even. But that costs more money. I don't have any money. That's the point. Uh, yeah, you you've got to take out a loan. loan. I've you maxed out my loans. Okay, I've only then got you, need to, you need to start grand. deleting stuff that isn't <laughs> making money. Send it back to depots and sell it and re restructure your company. <laughs> so that sounds like a sensible <laughs> thing. To do. Train. This isn't. This isn't. This is <laughs> <laughs> little train, little train. <laughs> it's so fucking cute. I can't. Well, they're meant to be bigger. It's Annie and Clarabelle. You can, add more carriages. you can add loads more carriages. Really? Well, you know, I, I what, can't even find what tiny train. I'm yellow orange. Oh, is that yours, Alex? So is that Lewis's? Okay, so I've got a train here. going from Reading to London. Holy and, shit. And, oh, oh my god, Alex is so bad. Right, that is it. I'm out. <laughs> Alex, that is so bad. I have to leave this call. This is absolutely horrible. <laughs> No, 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 don't abandon them. I'm trying to help. I can't, Simon. This no is what... insulting. What? What have you done? Okay, so, um... Holy... Okay. Here's what Alex has done wrong. Trains in this game can be as long as the station. Stations can go up to 10 tiles long, meaning they can probably have around about um, 20 carriages on a big train. Alex here has a train with two carriages. Two. Meaning, uh, even though in London West there are 119 passengers, his train can only carry si about 20 of them. <laughs> it's like the train can't make any money because it's not moving enough people. It's like being at a train station where there's thousands of people waiting, but there's no space for them to get on a train, and they could just add more carriages to it, but the company just can't be bought. I mean, it is literally Reva. Alex is really RPing as his, his company. My God. Um, anyway, our boats are doing great. Doing really good, actually. Um, I'm going to probably clone another boat um, and just send this one off. Chat, have we got a name? 
Ah, have we got a name? I'm pretty sure I saw some good names in chat. Ah, my goodness. I'll send you off as well, Boat, because might as well. Do, do, do. HMS Queen's Motorboat. Oh, yes. HMS Royal... Uh, Royal Motor Boat. There we go. Well, bam. It's the HMS Royal Motor Boat. Um, next up, we need to actually get started on paying off our loan, actually, which we can kind of do to an extent. Uh, and then I want to get the um, the timber out of um, out of this sawmill, and we need to load it up onto a boat and sail that boat down to here. Where's here? Uh, here is Norwich. Um, now, of course, we need wood to go into here because um, this place produces six tons of timber for every eight tons of wood. So the more wood we drop off, the better. And I realise I've said wood quite a lot, uh, more than I normally would. Thank you. That's the best joke that I've come up with. You know, I could actually do with a tea break. So I'll be right back. I'll be um, two seconds, ladies and gentlemen, two seconds. I'll let you listen to the chaos that is them. Get wood here, put wood in here. Like Someone else made that. Sure. Someone else did that funny. I, I'm... Uh, Duncan has left the game. Well, uh, well yeah, fun. Understandable. Fully understandable. I'm, understandable. I'm bored of my boats. They're boring. I might have to start again, guys. Boring, I've, shitty I've boats. I so I believe that if you leave and restart, you should automatically be out of Cool's Company award. Because it's not cool to quit. I just want, I want to make trains. My company was okay. I just I just couldn't be bothered to wait for it to... Oh, yes, I don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do anything. Father the money. I can't do anything. Just go wait for money to come in. Like, it's it's oh, going back, down, back, Lewis. Back, 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 back. Oh, it isn't going great. Everything is profiting, but it's well, going down. I mean, you, you say everything's well. profiting. Okay, chat. I just saw someone say we have a cheater in chat. What do you mean? Is someone cheating? Is someone literally cheating in this game? Is someone genuinely cheating in open TTD? People cheating in open TTD is illegal. It is a legal to do. Completely illegal. Pedgrin's cheating. Oh my goodness. Look in in-game chat. I don't think I can without showing off the IP. Saw someone enable cheat mode. Oh my god. Shaking my head. Shaking my goddamn head. Uh, now we need to set more money earners and quickly um, because uh, we kind of have to. Anyway, we'll uh, quickly skip the full load on HMS Riano Keeves, which is good. Uh, here comes HMS 6969, your mum smells. This is on its maiden voyage, by the way, uh, with 720 passengers from the London docks. Absolutely beautiful stuff. How's York doing? Oh my God, 498 bags of mail in York. <laughs> that is insane. Okay, we need to... Um, we need to get ourselves a few more mail vans, I think. Get a few more of those out onto the road. How much money do they make? They make um, about 1,600 a year, so that's not bad. They pay themselves off in a year. And I want to get my wood run set up. And the best way to get wood actually produced is to do, do an absolute abomination. Uh, we're going to need to cut through here. <laughs> and it's going to look horrible. It's going to look absolutely horrible to do. Um, but... This terminal takes food, so what we're going to do is first produce food. How do we produce food? Well, this is where Whitby comes in. Whitby has a little fishing dock, and um, if you drop food off in Whitby, then um, you can produce food, which we can then sail up the coast to a bulk goods terminal. So what we're going to do, get ourselves a couple of fish boats. They cost quite, they, they like hardly cost anything. Um, and then we're going to send these boats off to, uh, say, Whitby Sandbank, and then just come back. Uh, that's all they have to do, and we can clone these little boats, um, and uh, they'll do a great job. A great little job of fishing and um, just various seafaring. Then we can have this boat go over here, and uh, we can also have them full load on cargo, why not, and then come back. Well, bam. We're getting our supply chain set up now, chat. They're really going to be beautiful. We'll clone this ship as well. Beautiful stuff. And now all we need to do is set up a new ship, and this ship's job is to move food. Uh, it doesn't need to be a great ship, it can just be the um, the little cucumber. Oh my goodness, that's such a cute little name for a boat. Oh, the little cucumber boat. Little cucumber's boat, it, um, its job is to go to Whitby Fish Market, full load on food, 
then go down to um, the Newcastle upon Time docks and um, unload all of the food there into the goods terminal, which will then allow us to produce chemicals. There you go. Oh my goodness. And there we go. Citizen celebrate as the first ship arrives at the Whitby Sandbank. This is beautiful. We're going literally entirely boats. Someone want HMS Morning Wood? <laughs> you can have HMS Morning Wood. Little Cucumber Boat is going to be renamed to um, HMS Morning Wood. HMS uh, Morning Wood. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. Pay loan, Spiff. Very well, we're paying off our loan. Let's pay it off. We do have a whole bunch of cash, so uh, there we go. We might as well. How's the loading going? It's going quite good. Very good. We're going to get some nice fish, hopefully. Nice bit of fish. Uh, I do actually need to check on um, Harrogate and make sure that we do have a steady supply of people now arriving in the docks. And also, HMS 6969, your mum smells, can, uh, can float away now. We've got so many boats coming in. So many boats. We should probably start cloning a few boats again, I realise, because um, why not? More boats is more money. More money is more good. We've got a lot of passengers in London South as well, which means we need to clone more trams. I don't even have the money for it. <laughs> oh, that's fine. My goodness, how's London Docks doing? 3,000 people at London Docks. That's great. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely incredible. Hmm. Ah. What are the mods we're using? We're using a, um, a UK map mod. And if you search for like um, DPK's UK map, it auto downloads all of the necessary other mods to make this as beautiful as it is, which is of course very, it's truly majestic. Now here's something we could do. We could take the sand and stone from Harrogate Quarry, turn them into building supplies, and then take those building supplies and drop them off in the Newcastle upon Time bolt goods terminal. Oh my goodness. Um, so many, so many, like, messy tracks are going on here. Oh, I think these horse on carts, they're not doing good. They're making £200 a year, and they're just breaking down constantly. This is terrible. Oh, I feel so sorry for some of these people. I especially feel sorry for this train here, whose job it is is to move people from Bristol to Bath and make basically no money. Oh god, I really hope that they've they've set it up so that it no longer goes to Bath. That would be terrible. Absolutely terrible. Do, 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 do. Now there's a brand new train line coming up through Watford, which is very exciting. I like the look of that. Anyway, we're making some good money. We've got another boat coming on in. So we might as well um, clone yet another ship. There we go, we'll bam. And um, clone a few more trams, get them out onto the road. There we go. Let's clone five more here and bam good stuff and we can delete that and then more importantly we can clone a few more trams here on the main central london line lovely stuff absolutely truly majestic stuff here chat truly beautiful well bam we can go to london spiff your goal isn't updating it should be slowly is it not is it really not at all they might have changed the link They've probably changed the link, haven't they? We're going to do a large advertising campaign. Uh, as you can see, we, we are in outstanding um, stead with the people of London. Even though we're loading them onto boats and ferrying them up to Yorkshire, they love it. They absolutely love it. They love it when we do it to them. They love it, despite the fact that it's probably several violations of human rights. Um, but they still love it. They just really enjoy it. They like being ferried away like this. Do Anyway, I realise we should probably clone this um, tram a bit more because these trams, how much are they making? They make a grand a year? Nah, we can clone it once or twice. It's just small money maker. HMS SMH in honour of the failed train line with only two cars. Has he fixed it? He has fixed it. Look at this. And now, look at it. It's making 16 grand instead of minus 4,000. It's lovely to see that. Absolutely lovely. Uh, people are really getting started with the game now. Right, now we need to get our wood up and running. Um, now that our, our fish boats are doing good. Whereabouts have I set up the fish boats? Oh, here, I, here they are. So yeah, we, um, we get fish, we load them onto boats, and then we take those boats, and um, we, turn that, we turn the fish into food. We take the food to a goods terminal, and now what do we do with the goods terminal? Well, 
this is where the fun stuff happens chat we're going to get terraforming again we are building one more canal that's right it's going to be hideous it's going to be disgusting and it's going to be very expensive but we are making a canal all the way to this one random bit of land so that i can harvest goods actually you know what we can also cheese this completely we're going to build a um a freight lorry here so that it connects to the woods and then um don't don't tell them don't tell them we're going to pull a little bit of an old classic in terms of open ttd exploits and we're going to create a, a dummy station a completely fake station there we go bam bam and um then what you do you do your classic control click local authority hates us so they won't let us build okay what do you do chat when the local authorities hates you so much you plant trees because people love trees how can you be mad at someone who plants trees so we're bam we've planted some trees and now we can build whatever we like although i realized that was the wrong thing to build because i need to do a control click and connect it to the central halt whistle and now that is how you transport wood via teleportation magic onto the coastline and thanks to that ladies and gentlemen we can now move wood from here over to the newcastle upon time docks and this is the start of everything chat this is it this is it because now we're bam we get a castle point transporter whose job it is is to move farm supplies from the bulk terminal yep yeah, that seems like a good idea we're bam castle point steamer go to newcastle upon time docks full load on cargo supplies away you go and then after you've done that go off to here drop them off perfect that's how you do it that's how you do it yeah but we're doing teleportation magic because normally we'd have to build the dock right the way up to this woods here to actually get any wood from it but now we don't have to equally we need to start getting wood from it and so the best way to do that is to once again find a um a trawler of some kind that can move wood we don't want an expensive one here we want something quite cheap uh, like the um, like the little cucumber is literally perfect for this job. So the little cucumber has to go from our lovely hot whistle docks, full load on wood, of course, full load, then um, go all the way down to Newcastle upon Tyne docks and just load off those, uh, unload the wood, unload all of the wood, and we're bam, we'll send it on its merry little way. Oh, actually, we don't want it to unload. We want it to um, transfer and leave empty. And then we need a big boat and this okay so this is chaos most people don't design boats in this way also name hms smh okay fine little cucumber rename hms smh hms smh so the job of the little cucumber is to go over to Holt Whistle, collect the wood drop it off in newcastle upon time docks where a massive tanker is then going to float it up the coast to dundee docks which will then convert it into timber and then we're going to turn the timber and sail that timber right the way down the coastline to norwich uh, where upon which we're going to be building the norwich uh, dockyard in fact we might as well do that now um, let's just build the famous norwich canal which everyone knows about everyone knows about norwich and its famous canal Everyone loves Norwich and its famous canal. So we're just going to quickly raise up the land here so that we can build a dock. There we go. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Place a dock down. It's Norwich's famous Windhommen Industrial Park. Everyone loves it. Then we're going to place down a little, little ship depot here. Things are looking great now. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, is, is this little cucumber? The HMS Morningwood has just broken down, but it did manage to uh, drop off some food here at the bulk terminal, so all is good. HMS Teafarer. Oh, that's good. Norwich Canal is my favourite canal. My favourite canal is canal with the... Um... You know what, chat? Considering it's connecting to the ocean, you know what they say about canal? You can't spell canal without C. And if you spell canal without C, you get a very different sounding word. Anal. Very weird word, that. Very strange word. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How's Central York doing? York is so many people. Why are there so many people in York? Oh, we've unlocked the Frisco Bay Freighter. Now, because we are so... Um, because we're so popular when it comes to actually boats uh, we get recommended all of the boats early and we get a year to exclusively use them before any of the other players get to which is just hilarious 
Anyway, we're going to clone a few more um, HMS SMHs. And they're going to float on off to the docks now. Um, good for them. Now we need to get ourselves a big boat. This is going to be our big wood transporter. So we're going to get the bay freighter for that. And this bay freighter's job, quite simple. Pick up wood at the Newcastle upon Time docks. Um, is this is this the yep, ship 22? And then don't go to Hot Whistle. No, your job is to instead go all the way over to Dundee and unload. Um, just unload all. There you go. Actually, you don't even need to unload. Yeah, just go there. Perfect. Bam. So now we're going to take the wood, which we're dropping off in Newcastle to transfer, taking it up the coast, and this will get turned into timber. And then once stuff gets turned into timber, we need to send that down the coast. So um, let's get ourselves a great big timber boat. Of course, it's going to be another Frisco Bay Freighter. Frisco Bay Freighter, come here, my friend. Full load on any cargo. Away you go. And then, now you then have to do the most insane journey of the entire known universe. You have to go right the way down the bloody coastline. <laughs> oh my goodness, why did I make this journey so long? Well, the reason I made the journey so long, chat, because I'm sure that's what you've asked, um, is because the further you transport goods in this game, the more you get paid. Because, of course, if someone's just going up the road on a bus, they're only going to pay £10. But if you're sending someone literally to the other side of the country, even if they didn't want to go there, they'll still pay good money. Uh, they'll pay a lot of good money, in fact. Anyway, there we go. We've transported all that good way. Um, then we're going to go uh, go back up the coastline there, up to Grimsby Boy. Perfect stuff. Then got Burdington Boy, Scarborough Boy, then Whitby Boy, then Sunderland Boy, of course. Then, of course, Alwick, Alnwick boy, what a great boy, Bambra boy, love me some uh, Berwick upon Tweed boy, then Dundee boy, and well, bam, we're back at the start. Lovely stuff. This is going to be the longest ship journey that we have. HMS, HMS Getwood, HMS Mighty Wood, oh my good, HMS Woody. This is going to be HMS... HMS T Fairer, oh I love that. T Fairer, yeah, T Fairer, Fairer, that's it. Bingo. Absolutely nailed it. It's loading up with wood, which is great. Um, how's how's the wood timber situation going on in Hot Whistle? It's going good. Uh, we need to increase the production though, which should be increased because we have a chemical delivery arriving. And as soon as chemicals get pumped into the to the forest, the um, the supply of wood quadruples from its standard 136 to instead 436, which, as you can guess, quite insane. Um, so we're just going to have to duplicate a few of those. You are the chemical one, aren't you? Yeah, your farm supplies, brilliant. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Oh my god, this is going to be a terrifying journey of moving woods up and well, of moving wood up and down the country. But as soon as it's off, it's going to be really off. Do 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 do. And actually, we've got so much money lying around, we might as well get ourselves a a few more great big boats again. Because I mean, why not? <laughs> might as well get HMS sixty nine sixty nine. Your mum smells. Oh, Duncan's left the game. Is Duncan literally left the game? He's it's gone. He's gone. Wow. Wow. It's a bit early to rage quit. I've opened TTD. Jeez. It's got to be got to be the first rage quit. It has to be. Some would say it's not a rage. Oh, he's immediately joining in again. Okay. Maybe he crashed. Probably not. Probably not. No, I don't think he did. Now, what we can do to be even cheekier is um, find a fast way of moving people out of the center of York. Uh, and so in order to do that, we're going to do another completely and utterly perfectly balanced and fair dock. And um, just do a control click. Your cold town hall, bam. Now it's a dock as well. And we're just going to float it into the center of the, our regular dock. There we go. This is fine. Now we need a new ship uh, to move, not that, to move passengers. There we go. Uh, just a little one, actually. It doesn't need to be big. 248 passengers, perfect. Low running costs, it's not too bad. Okay, go to here. Full load. <laughs> oh my god, apparently Duncan ruined Ped. Oh no. And then transfer here and leave empty. There we go. So this will this will allow us to ferry people over to Harrogate in an exceedingly fast way.
Uh, well, apparently Ped's been trolled. Um, pretty sure Ped was purple, I, I think. Was he? That's Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's Margaret Thatcher Industries, ladies and gentlemen. Famously based in the Isle of Man. Thatcher's favorite location. Do we want to do a profit check? Okay, we can do a profit check. This is the profit check. As you can see, things are going fine. Things are going great. Oh, my God. Anyway, we're loading up timber, which is always a good sign. Our great big Ship 22 is loading up. Ship 22 needs a new name, I realize. Oh, HMS T. HMS T E dot D. HMS T. Thank you, chat, for that. Ped's, Ped's the brown one, okay. Uh, so that means Ped is... Ped can't be brown one. Brown one's Lewis. This one's Lewis. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, right, I'll pay. I'll, I'll give Leo some money. Fine. Right, you can have 30,000. There you go. That'll keep the horses fed. <laughs> I'm not giving her any more. Oh my god, we need to collect more wood. Okay, so as I mentioned, gung-ho production on a any timber plant immediately takes it from producing regular quantities of wood to insane quantities of wood. Uh, and speaking of which, we actually could do with even more wood. So um, what we'll do is build yet another insane canal uh, going right the way through all of this land. <laughs> Oh my god, what am I what am I creating? This is actually disgusting in terms of borders. <laughs> oh my goodness. And to Spiffing Brit, totally a charity TM. Don't donate directly to me. Donate to um donate to the uh to the jingle jam bundle thing. Speaking of which, I'm pretty sure there's a new link which I need to use. Let me double check my email. Um I'm pretty sure I've received an email telling me that there's a new URL that I need to use to actually get the donation reader. But um, now that I have to wait, because I ain't finding it. Do, 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 do. Anyway, let me build a dock just here. There we go. Actually, we can build the dock here. It, it can literally just be a straight line. Um, and then what we need to do is build a regular road depot here. Oh my god, Ped Green Transport will be sold off. First one down, chat. First one down. Oh my goodness. We are decimating them. Absolutely decimating them. Oh my goodness. Actually, I think I might have beans this up. I'm just going to do this again. Just to double check that I get it done correctly. Right, so supplies, wood. Um, supplies, wood and accepts farm supplies. Bam. Bam. And then we want a dock to follow it. Uh, the first docks. There we go. Bam. So now we have a second way of gaining wood. So let's get this all hooked up. Land sloped in the wrong direction. Okay, right. We'll have to do it there then. That's fine. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Glorious. It looks brilliant. Um, so now we have another way of producing wood. Only 80 tons of wood, but you know, that's still actually a decent quantity of wood. Uh, we'll get a slightly... Better truck, I think, for this one. Well, better boat. Oh, HMS Tea Tree. Oh, that's good. That is good. Do you guys want to nationalize PED? Do you want to buy PED's entire company out? I'm pretty sure we get the opportunity to because we'll be the most... We'll be the richest company, which means um, I think we get first bids on, on his on his company. So we could do that. Anyway, we'll go um, we'll go pick up at first docks and load, unload over at... Um, and load over at Newcastle after that, and of course make sure to transfer, not pick up. Perfect, there we go. HMS Deck Gwyn. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's brilliant. Just launched my new boat. HMS Deck Gwyn. There we go. Just stole your joke, chat. Just perfectly stole your 
your joke. It says it wants to go straight to Dundee Docks. You can't go straight to Dundee Docks. Oh, I didn't fill out your order. Oh, I'm so, I'm such a potato. Right, you just stop there. You just stop there. All right, you need to go Onwick Boy. Then you need to go Bam Bamberg Boy. Then you need to go um, Bericon Tweed Boy. Then you need to go Dundee Boy. And then you can go to Dundee Docks. And then after Dundee Docks, you do the exact same trip in reverse. There we go. Wham Bam. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Perfect. Bamber Boy. Onwick Boy. And away we go. We've got it. And equally, because that trip is going to go so well and take quite a while, we need to clone this boat when we have 60 grand in reserve. <laughs> Good God. Good God. Look at the amount of paddle boats we've got coming in. This is beautiful. Actually, I want to clone this boat first, probably, because this boat's going to do some great stuff. Oh, Who said dinosaurs were extinct? HMS T-Rex. You, your name is my command. HMS T-Rex. HMS T Rex. Bam. Oh, the decimation of the Yogg's cast continues, chat. We've done it. Oh my god, we are looking to take. Do I buy Ped's company? Question mark. <laughs> chat, do we do it? <laughs> Oh god, it's worth a hundred. It's useless, but you can turn it around. What Pedgrin Transport, which colour was he? He was kind of weird, creamy brown. He was all of this area here. I can't do this. Uh someone else can try and fix that. <laughs> I ain't touching that. <laughs> oh my god. What a what an incredible, incredible company design he made. Oh my goodness. Right, we're going to clone this ship here, which is moving the wood. Yep, good. And uh, that's going to fill up with wood from Newcastle upon time. You're filling up with wood from Fursk. Uh, what Fursk needs is farming supplies, so we're going to need to get more farming supplies over here. Best way to get farming supplies? From one of these bulk goods terminals. So, um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make... A, uh, another ferry dock here and um, it's gonna simply move farming supplies over to the uh, other place there we go it's as simple as that we just move farming supplies in bulk goods where are you farming supplies bam there you are um, we actually only want to move around about this many amount of farming supplies although a faster boat would be better actually 32 is not bad yeah you'll do you'll do all right Go, go here, full load, and then go to, I'm going to have to manually do this as well, aren't I? Yeah. Burlington, then you go to Scarborough, then you go to Whitby, and then you finally go to Fursk. And then after you go to Fursk, you come all the way back. There we go. God, I absolutely love this game. I really do. I just love everything about OpenTTD. It really just... Tickles my pickle in so many happy different ways. I haven't even built a single train. This is Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe, also known as the Train Tycoon game. And we just don't even... Just don't even use trains. Oh my goodness. How's my company doing? It's doing great. Ignore this massive death spiral. This is all fine. That's just from where I spent a nice bit of money. And we anyway, are first, um... Our first goods boat, actually moving timber down to the south of, down to the south coast of Norwich, is on its way. Uh, before it gets there, I actually want I'll need to set up another boat whose job it is is to collect goods, and then what we do is we send the goods all the way back up the coast, and probably drop them off in Harrogate. I think Central Harrogate's good. Speaking of which, Harrogate has grown; it's almost doubled in size. Oh, look at this! How's the loan status? Loan is gone. Oh my goodness, the entire loan is gone, chat. The loan is dead. The loan is dead. And we are unloading people at Harrogate Docks at an incredible rate. Pedgrin Transport has been closed down by creditors and all assets have been sold. Oh, all of the tracks have been gone. F. <laughs> F, F indeed, my goodness. 
He tried. All of his track and road and train is all gone. I mean, it was just kind of clogging up the space that I was using, but it's it's still sad to see another a rival businessman get swept away like that. As is the way with these harsh, harsh business worlds that we live in. Such harsh business landscape. Anyway, I need to actually improve London. I need a large advertising campaign uh, because that way we get more people in on our trams and that means more people in the docks and more people in the docks is more money. Anyway, how are the woods doing? Oh my god, I need even more. We've just got so many little, so much wood. There is so much wood. An unprecedented quantity of wood, in fact. A terrifying schasm, if that's even a word of wood. Oh my goodness. HMS Last Man Standing. That's where we're going to vaguely end up. This is Timberboat, the Teafarer. You are... You're, you're here to drop off wood. Oh my goodness, it's dropping off wood. Look at it go. Oh my goodness, we get 44 grand just for dropping off wood. Anyway, we need to get a clone of the Teafarer now because we have so much timber waiting at the docks. So this isn't going to be the Teafarer. This is going to be the um, HMS Big F... Big F for Ped. Bam. Big F for Ped. Big F for Ped. I love this. I just love vibing and playing this game chat. It's so relaxing. I mean, it might not look relaxing due to the fact that I am completely decimating everyone who stands in my way or my company's way, for I will murder them. But actually, it's just really chill. It's just a really chill vibe game about... Vibes that are chill and just vibing, you know? Anyway, let's clone these uh, transport ships because we're going to need more. And then equally, it's time to actually set up our goods route because this is going to be probably the most profitable route that we have for the entire game. Uh, its job is to move goods right the way up the country, I'm guessing. Um, but where? Where do we put goods? Does this place accept goods? No, it doesn't. Does the Newcastle port accept goods? Of course not. Maybe if I put a port around here. It does accept goods, actually. Yeah, it does. Right, so we'll put a port here. It's an unsuitable site. What about this site is unsuitable? It's perfect. I don't know what you're on about. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, maybe we just move it elsewhere. Maybe we go to Berwick-on-Tweed. Uh, we can't do that, actually. It's Berwick-on-Tweed. Edinburgh? Edinburgh will take goods. Accepts chemicals. Classic Scotland. Classic. Uh, um, there's just nowhere along this coastline that accepts wood. Well, goods. What about Central Dundee? We could just send them right the way back up the coast. But no. It's not interested. Well, there's actually basically nowhere in... Yeah, other than like Central Edinburgh, there is nowhere. My God. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. We're just gonna have to go for um, just gonna have to go for Newcastle, so of course we're gonna have to do it, of course, a cheesy way, um, because that's the only way we can really build docks. Actually, wait, we can build this. That's perfect then. Is this actual land that we can we can use? Yep, this is. There we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's a canal and it's working. Okay, chat. Don't get upset. It's fine. Everything's fine here. In fact, I can fix up this road just a bit. There we go. Now the canal's a bit faster even. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So now we've got Newcastle upon Time Central, which is where we're going to be sending the goods from this industrial park. So we need a great big goods ferry. Um, this one will do. It can carry 810 crates of goods. So go down here, full load on your cargo. And then you're going to go on a magical, bloody journey of chaos. Over to Grimsby. No one likes it. Then up the coast to Birdlington. Then Scarborough. Everyone likes Scarborough. It's relaxing now, chat. It's relaxing. Then Whitby. Good old Whitby. Bit past Whitby. You've got Sunderland. No one likes Sunderland because that's where Sunderland FC is. And if you didn't know I was a Newcastle supporter, now you do. That means I hate Sunderland. <laughs> and if you're watching this and you're from Sunderland, Close the stream. Close the stream. 
reflect on your decisions and get on a boat to, to Harrogate and go work in the Yorkshire tea farms because then and only then might you be able to gain my respect as a human being. So yeah, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh god <sighs> now this is going absolutely fantastic operating profit graphs <laughs> oh it's good it's so good it's so goddamn good you love to see it you absolutely love to see it chat I mean you hate to see it for everyone else because it means they are getting absolutely wrecked right now, but you do love to see it when you name Spiff. Mmm, what a beauty. What an absolute beauty chat. Truly majestic. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a experience. Now what I'm going to do, once again, we're going to set up another dock here. Another perfectly balanced dock. We'll just build it here, probably. This is great. Oh yeah. Look at this, fantastic stuff. I mean, we have so much money now, we can just basically cleanly carve our way through any of this farmland here, just to really speed up the process. Perfect stuff. Um, and now we can have a new dock, and this this dock is going to basically do exactly the same as... Actually, wait, no, this isn't a new dock. We don't want a new dock. We want a fake copy dock. Um, this is going to be Leeds Old Town Hall, because Leeds Old Town Hall comes pre-equipped with 4,000 waiting passengers. <laughs> who we can forcefully drop off in Harrogate. Ah, perfect. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> right, we're going to buy you, you paddle steamer. And then paddle steamer goes to here, fully loads, and then it goes to here, and it does a transfer. There we go. Ah, oh, majestic. Absolutely majestic. And we, heck, we can even clone this. And wham, away it goes. Hmm. So if, if you want Harrogate to grow, um, go to the local authority and pay it. I know I can spend um, I can spend money to um, fund new buildings, but it's 178,000, and that money is actually better spent doing other things at the moment. It's not normally, but um, it is at the moment. Now, how's the um, the other woods here doing? Is it mass producing wood? It is now good. So um, HMS Deck Gwyn can um, have a clone. There we go. Whose job it is is to move wood up this road to Newcastle. How's this little forest doing? Absolutely insane as always. So um, let's get a few more clone boats going. A few more clone boats. Perfect stuff. Majestic. Mm. This has just been absolutely incredible. And actually not, because we've got so much money now, we can just speed up this entire canal process by just having a single straight line. There we go. Flatland required. Bam. No, it's just a, a much faster, more streamlined canal. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Where's our um, our first cargo ship to the um, industrial centre? Where is it? It's coming down the coast. Here it is. It's the HMS Teafarer with its 810 tonnes of timber, which when it gets to here gets converted into five tonnes worth of um, cr cargo, um, which will be insane. Absolutely insane if we get it all. Uh, is there, there is timber at Dundee Docks, so we should probably get one more clone off on the Teafarer before it arrives. There we go, and that should vaguely, vaguely cover all our bases. Oh. Is this economy PvP? Effectively, yes, because I'm beating everyone, which means it's a PvP, because I've, I've declared it a PvP. Just look at this graph. Just look at that. I'm going to go have a chat with them. Where does timber go to, is the question. Timber a can go log, to multiple places. It can go to a super duper special timber yard or a furniture factory. Ooh. Wow. There you go. Wow. Oh, of course, and we talked about this earlier. The only furniture factory is in Chesterfield. Because they make sofas. Or a timber yard. There is a furniture factory in Norwich, which is where I'm supplying. Oh. Which is about the worst place in... In what do you mean? I've built a canal to it. It's great now. It's got a canal. Have you ever been to Norwich? No, I mean, I hate it, but I don't have to be there because I can Norwich. float past it. Uh, oh, there's Timber Yard here, actually, in Dunfermline. Let's keep it yeah, all that's, in Scotland. Yeah, that's really close, it in Scotland. Ah. No, no, let's keep it in Scotland. 
Scottish for the Scots. Don't make me build what Hadrian's Wall. Don't make me build Hadrian's Wall. Well, if you want to build Hadrian's Wall, you Hadrian's well. ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Daltos, how is it going, by the way, over at Thatcher Corp? I'm just going really good. I've snatched most of the milk off the map. I'm That's trying good. to find more milk to take. Oh, no, you understand. Children. You understand England. I fucking man, Margaret it's the only thing Thatcher I understand about Stila. Margaret Thatcher. Nineteen eighties reference. Honestly, if I just kept my original boat 80s. company, I would have had more money than I do now. It's doing all right. It's doing all right. Yeah, boats are the boats are the way forward. They're the future. Well, it's not doing great, but. Nah, I believe in you. In a huge amount of debt. Well, that's fine. Um, does anyone want a, a bailout, by the way? I've got about uh, 50 grand. Uh, yes, 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 yes. It was yes. prepared, but... Everyone needs a bailout. It's it's bailout. Everyone bailout. needs a bailout. <laughs> it's so, it's I so don't need your pity money. Gone. If you have any pity money, I'll take a little. Right, you can have 50k pity money, Ped. Um, nice. I expect it back in, in 20 years' time. All right, I'll give no it problem. back to you as soon as I can. Okay, Duncan, you can have 5k. Aww. Just... I have one if... train and there's five passengers waiting for it. Aww. <laughs> if I'm making oh. profit. So okay, it's not so going well. well. Yeah, if you're making profit, you can pay it back. I am not. <laughs> For the next 20 years, I am not. <laughs> Fuck. I'm I've already lost that money, money you gave me. It's gone. <laughs> and it's, it's gone. Just, I didn't even do anything. <laughs> oh, God, this has all gone to shit. Um, I went very much uh, a little bit too ambitious on the size of this train line and spent my entire bank balance building the infrastructure and now have no money to uh, make it work. So Oof. That's pretty funny. Yeah, well, yeah. That's, that's often how this game goes, sadly. Um, it's a very fine balance between when you, when you first start off. You've got to spend exactly the right amount of money to get a profit coming in. Between fucked and yeah. it's like oh. real life. I've got some great news. The first delivery of timber to Norwich is about to happen. Oh, good old Norwich. Are you going to make Norwich Fairer? like a fucking actual place where people would... No, no, we're just, just go we're taking the jobs out of Norwich. All of the jobs will happen on the boats and they won't be for I people Norwich. in Norwich. Sorry, I'm an Ipswich Town supporter, so I, I'm, Wait, I'm, are I'm you... reasonably biased. You know what, you let, me, let me build a moat around yeah. Norwich. Um, so... I, have an, I used to go to Ipswich every week. What for? To watch football. You're kidding. You are not a football fan. I went to I went to Newcastle. Football. Did you play Warcraft? Did there a basement was a year. for ten football. years? Or that? No. Or that? <laughs> I watched got you football. There, Lewis. I have an unreasonable bias. Got them there. I'm sure the people of Norwich are you lovely. You have never mentioned this to me. And they're not. In all the years we've been friends, you've never mentioned this to me. I can't see you at a football game. Do you I even still, know the I, rules? I had a season ticket. You did no. not. To Ipswich Town. No, no. I do not know the rules for football. Lewis, this Let's is a kick the ball. Lewis, what is the offside rule? Can you explain the offside rule to, to me, please? Can you yeah. not? Look, this isn't science class. You can't so pass class. the no, ball no, 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 ahead. No, no, no. I want to hear, I wanna hear <laughs> this. I want to hear... I want to hear Lewis's... You want to hear Lewis's... Play the offside rule. Yes, yes, yes. Even very, I know the offside rule. It's very simple. It's very simple. You can't pass the ball. No, that's what I said. Oh my god, we're at half a million. Two, two, we're at who, half Lewis? a million. Two. What do you mean to? Look at who that. Pass it to? How much Where did this you boat can't, make? You can't. Two hundred and sixty k. Fuck you me. Can't kick it upfield beyond oh. uh, a defender. So, so the defenders have to be. Oh, in... I'm muting. I'm muting the offside talk. Two hundred and sixty k on a boat, and we have six boats doing this route. Jesus. Gee. Oh my god, chat, this is insane. This is actually insane. We're going to be able to flood Wales way sooner than I was expecting as well. We've already turned Norwich into an island. But it can only get better than better from here. My god. My god. What incredible, incredible news. How's Hot Whistle doing? In immense, as always. Oh, 
It's time for the English Canal to separate England from... <laughs> yes, it needs to happen. Whereabouts is... The crossing is, is a little bit around Newcastle, right? So, um... I mean, there's a, there's an annoying train line in the way, so, um... I mean, Carlisle is kind of it, isn't it? Yeah. So if I just go like so, and then, um... Uh, I'm going to actually have to landscape this a bit better. I'm going to have to level it even lower. Like so. There we go. And um, this needs to all be canal. I don't think I can lower it any further because there's a player who's built a train line there. So there's nothing I can do about that. That's fine. Oh my goodness. This is going to be beautiful. And then we need to um, we need to make a, another another adventure. <laughs> Oh my goodness, right, let's just go super level down here. I feel really sorry for the citizens of Holt Whistle, except I realise I don't because I'm a filthy, filthy mega capitalist. Um, so their feelings this Christmas don't actually matter to me. Oh yes, yes. This is it. Let me just lower down this territory even more. Perfect. Perfect stuff. It's happening. The start of the canal is here. This is it, chat. <laughs> oh, yes. <clears throat> Whose company is this, actually? Margaret Thatcher Industries. Okay, right. I'll get Daltos. Um, okay. The last note you took. Deltos, I need a hand. Um, I need help. help the word. Who wants to be a millionaire? I don't know why. Okay. My, I've got a joke written down, apparently. It's a, it, <laughs> a joke? My, my grandfather was responsible for five down German planes in a single day. Probably the worst mechanic the Luftwaffe had. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I have a, a great joke. Christmas, I like it. I have a Christmas tree, dude. That's that's my nerves. That's a Christmas tree it. dude. What does that even mean, Pat? Well, he delivers Christmas trees. One of my oh, mods, his, um, his family grow Christmas trees. Actually, it's the first. So what they are real people. It's an important what, business. Um, here's an interesting one. Who's the last person you texted? <laughs> He's doing it. He's oh, doing it. As in, does uh, WhatsApp uh, count? He's yeah, doing it. Mine was. Uh, oh. I'm going to mute that. I'm going to mute that. I love them, but I have to mute it because we're building. An incredible canal. Wait, I think I need more. I'm going to actually, I'm going to give Delta some money for this as well. Give money 50k. There we go, bam. 50k for your troubles, love heart. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bribing, bribing businesses so that we can build stupidly dumb bits of track. <laughs> I mean, am I able to do this? I don't think I am, no, I can't. I need one more one more tile done and then I can do it. One tile. Come on, Deltos. Yes, there we go. This is it. Perfect. <sighs> Scotland is free. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, there, there it is. There, it is. Oh, there we go. Scotland is free. Scotland is free. Oh, I've severed it from free. England. Fucking Thank God. God. You severed it. Oh. It's yeah. already severed here, though, look. It's, it's already severed, severed again. Oh. Well, yeah, but that's the Highlands. That's different. <laughs> you severed it at the throat. You've cut the throat of Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody could do that to Florida. <laughs> Ooh, oh, spicy. I, I wish. Excuse me, Berberwick. Oh, Get over first. You. 
Oh, get get out. out. Scotland is already free. We don't need no English people to free us. True. Who's Come. making a giant valley? Somebody Shrewsbury. Uh, Shrewsbury is getting leveled so that I can also do the exact same thing to Wales. Um, so I'm going to let me and Ravs go. Me and Ravs. Right, 2021. That's it. that's it. I'm going to take yeah. Ravs on a road trip around Scotland. That's it. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Man, I want to do the... I don't I think you would want to do uh, that. The, the Grand Tour penis. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what is the Grand what? Tour penis? You draw the penis on the map. There we go. Wales is severed now. Why is there a phone, is there a phone ringing? We've done it, chat. Wales is gone. Now all we have to do is sink it into the ocean. Ooh, is, is our first cargo ship off? Are you ship 45? Yes, you're the crates of good ship, right? So we need to clone you so we can get another one here. It says 43 crates of goods. This is it. This is it, chat. We've got it. Everything's going great. How much timber's at the docks? 1,700 1, timber. Which means. Um, where are you going? Wood from Hot Whistle. Oh, you've got to go to Dundee Boy and then back to Dundee Docks. I see the issue here. You need another ship depot. In fact, we can get ship depots kind of a little bit everywhere because we we have spare money. Um, what are you? Your your tons of wood. Okay, I need something more than tons of wood. I need tons of. I need timber. I need timber boats. I need timber boats. Where are my timber boats? Where are my boats with timber? You're the teafarer. Good. Right. So now I need to clone you. Oh my goodness. Erase whales. Invest in buildings. You're right. I have so much money now. I need to invest in buildings like um, around Harrogate. This needs to happen. Harrogate. 300 people now living in Harrogate. Let's um, build a statue of the company owner for 160,000. And now let us also fund new buildings for 180,000. Now the town grows every 58 days. There we go. That's what I like to see. 1,000 people waiting at Harrogate Docks. Truly, truly beautiful. What are you doing? Full load any cargo. Just full load. You don't have to full load. You pick up passengers. It's not difficult. Just load up the passengers. There we go. We've got to turn off full load, apparently. Apparently that's too much information. Oh, my goodness. Name a ship HMS Tyranny. No. There's no tyranny. Newcastle, not Scottish. Well, we've made Newcastle Scottish for the purposes of this. Um, because otherwise it would be too much of a faff to try and separate Newcastle from Scotland. <laughs> oh my goodness. How much wood have we got waiting here? 2,000 tonnes. Great. Uh, you, you carry wood, don't you? Yes. So we're going to need to clone you a few more times. And away you go. In fact, we should probably get maybe a second dock built here. I don't know if it does anything to get more docks. Probably not. Probably not at all, actually, so I won't do that. Ship 18 is lost. Screw you, Ship 18. Wait, I realise I just... Those were ships to Hot Whistle, not ships up to Dundee. Yeah, 50 wood from Hot Whistle all the way to Dundee. There you go. This is what I want. I realise there's seven of them, so I probably did get it right. I did. I'm smart. I'm smart, chat. Oh, HMS Chamomile, because this is such a lovely chill game. I should do that. Chat, my goodness, I've noticed we're almost at 9,000 likes on a live stream. That is insane. Thank you very much, chat. Very generous people. It's very lovely, very kind. Pat yourselves on the back. It's very, very nice. Right, let me sort out this, um, this entire bit of canal needs to be fixed. Uh, so we'll just level it down to water. There we go, so that we don't have to worry about it. Perfect stuff. Now it's all water. All is good. That should speed everything up. Now it's immediately 9,400. My goodness. Chat. Wow. Thank you very much, chat. That is exceedingly generous. Very, very generous. Thank you very much. Because it, it means the stream gets shown to a whole bunch of people. You want to know how many times this stream, is, this stream has been seen so far today? 140,000 times people have seen this, which is insane. Apparently Harrogate now accepts goods. <gasps> oh, does Harrogate dogs accept goods? That means we can t send goods straight over to Harrogate. Where are you going? You're, you're the timber boat and you are 
You're you're the goods boat. Okay. I mean, we could we could send the goods boat to Harrogate, but I mean, we should send it to Newcastle because that will give us more money. Make Newcastle an island. I mean, that's entirely possible. Um, we could certainly do that. <laughs> but should we? <laughs> Is the next question. Should we do that? Should we? I don't know, chat. I don't. It feels like a war crime. But then again, then again, we are quite heavy on war crimes here. Very heavy on war crimes, in fact. Um, how are these wooden docks doing? They're doing decent. That's fine. They seem like they're doing good. How much food we got here? We got a decent amount of food. Which one's the food boat? Are you the food boat? You're not the food boat at all. You're not the food boat either. You look like the food boat. Yeah, HMS Morning Wood. Right, HMS Morning Wood can get cloned. There we go. Bam, we can have a second one out. Lovely stuff. Oh, St. Peterborough. <laughs> What have you got against Peterborough? It's a, it's a place. It's not. It's no Bognor Regis. So I'll give it that. Bognor Regis. For what a, what a place. What an absolute, absolute bop that Bognor Regis is. Truly, truly a lovely place. Said no one, ever. Sadly, F for Bognor Regis. I'll tell you what we could do with maybe um in in Harrogate. We could probably do with another tram line, uh, but this time. Oh, we're going to have it connect to... Where else could we go? We could go Middlesbrough or Darlington. Because a lot of these places are quite small, so they don't really feel worthwhile to actually connect to. I suppose Bradford over here could do. Uh, we could connect via Bradford. I don't see why not. Let's, let's see if we can go via Bradford. Or we could get a couple of tunnels going. People like tunnels. People love tunnels. There we go. Bam and bam. There we go, Bradford's connected. That's great. That means something. Let's get a um, little tram station set up there. Let's get one set up in central Bradford. Oh, I'm feeling very Christmassy today, chat. If you couldn't tell. It feels very Christmassy. Right. Let's just get a basic passenger tram. Go to Bradford. And come back from Bradford. Go to Harrogate, and then just clone this a metric ton of times, and we will grow Harrogate into a metropolis. Ah. I notice we've one million. Has the goods train arrived? Has the did the goods boat arrive? Are you the goods boat? Ship eighteen? No, your farm supplies. Where's the goods boat? Is this goods boat? Ship twenty five. Your supplies. You're the goods boat, aren't you? HMS Deck Gwyn 2. No. Where is it? It's around here somewhere. Is this the goods boat? Big F for Ped. No, this is Timber. Is it this one here? Ship 45. Yes, Ship 45 is the goods boat. Okay, I thought we had a million off of the goods boat, but no, we didn't. This needs to be renamed to... Um... Sorry, did we hit one million? Oh yeah, one million pounds. I thought you meant one million for the charity. <laughs> HMS Seymour... Clavage, an absolute classic. Classic Bob. There you go, chat. This is great. HMST vibes. Oh, I love a good bit, a good bit of HMST. Oh, look at this. This is going great. Harrogood Docks. It's got a decent amount of people waiting there. It's not brilliant, but that's just because, you know, we've got to sap them out of the centre of Leeds or Sheffield. No one wants to. Apparently, people don't want to leave Sheffield, which doesn't make me feel that this game is very realistic. Um... <laughs> Oh, let me bribe the uh, local local authorities again. 183,000 to bribe it, but it's necessary. It's necessary. Oh, I'll tell you what I could do. Oh my god. I mean, okay, let's do this. Lewis, have you still only built one fucking rail line? Well, look. I've been Why have you named your places Deep Fried Mars Bar, Grouse Kitty Willy, and Hag? Wait, whoa. Oh, Spit just bought. Welcome to the Spit fucking real the world. Rules. Oh, was this right. not allowed? Okay, I won't so, read it. Then. I, I don't what know. did you do? Well, it does rules. mean I've got a restart. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you 100k. It's fine. What did you do, Spit? k to get this system right. It only lasts for a year. And it only goes to London. Oh, God. 
Uh, yes. 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 Mm. Can you can you mix and match? Can you have a train that delivers passengers, mail? Yeah, you've got to yeah. change yeah. the uh, cargo. Carriages to it. The carriages on that's them, all yeah. I can think of. So if you could, th that's, that's common I do. I tend like most of it on passenger and like oh, one of the mail. Come. Is this it? And then you get both okay. of them at the same this time. Isn't it? All right, I didn't realize that. All right, that's Liam Ramp, Scotland Rail Trip 2021. Who's down for that? Oh, I'm excited. I thought it was a camp. I thought it was a camper van! I don't like think I want to come, honestly. I spent too much time with you guys anyway. God. I don't want you to come. Me. 10k likes chat on the stream. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 10,000 people watching, 10,000 likes. That's perfectly balanced. Now we just have to see how much insane amount of money we make with HMS Seymour Clavage. Please develop Aberystwyth. Sure. Let me just find it quickly. Um, do, 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 do. Here it is. <clears throat> Let me just um, quickly display houses again. And, uh... <coughs> the local authority refuses to allow me to destroy Aberystwyth. Oh, I'm sorry, local authority. That's okay. Just let me, let me bribe you. 600k. Oh, the local authority refuses to allow allow this. It's okay, local authority. I'll come back in a bit and bribe you again. I'm sorry, you wanted me to develop Aberystwyth, but sometimes you got to clean the slate, you know. <laughs> Here comes. HMS Seymour Clavage is coming. Just look at this insanely large boat going down this tiny canal. It is massive. All the other boats are like half its size. It is this giant steamer cargo ship. Right, it has spent, um, it has spent almost £10,000 to bring this boat over here. It has been going for a insanely long time. An insanely long time. Let us see how much it makes on its first delivery. Its first delivery chat. Here we go. Here we go, chat. It's coming into Newcastle upon time. Any day now. This is going to be hopefully beautiful. Hopefully absolutely beautiful, chat. This is going to be it. <laughs> Chat, stop asking me now to develop France. Oh, my goodness. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. First ship arrives in Newcastle upon Tyne Central. Come on, Seymour Clavage. Come on. How much money? How much money? How much money? It's 200. That's not as much as I was expecting. I've got to be honest. <laughs> 200k is good. I'll take it. I'll take 200k. I mean, it's no... It's no insanely good tea fairer because these tea fairers also make 280k. So if anything, we actually make less money because it stops off here instead of over here. And that difference is about 20k. I mean, 200k, okay, chat, yes, I know. 200k is still really good. Okay, sure. But I just like more. I like more money is what I want, more. So I'm pretty sure Leo needed help. So let me give Leo some money. I love bridges too. That is one feat of engineering that the British are not capable of. What, oh my god. Whales? Biff, you glorious bastard. Someone's got to feed horses for Christmas. Thank you for saving yeah. my horses. Like, I don't know what I would do. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry. Are your horses really starving? Yeah, they're not They're not doing well. Oh, no. I've actually not been conned horses? and these horses aren't actually starving. My, my horses are doing well across the board, except two that I have set to not make profit on their own just to drive profit into my trains. So that works. I am steadily making a tiny bit of money. And that's, you know, and that's, that's the all Sir Brittington wanted in the end. You know. He doesn't need to be a there. Sir Brittington. Who the fuck Who is Sir Brittington? <laughs> that's me. Why are you Sir Brittington? You are what the fuck? <laughs> Sir Brittington of Brittington what is Travel. So I'm hearing about the fucking Sir Brittington. Oh, look, it's Sir Brittington. Ego of Rivian. Sir Brittington's been the around for a long king. time. You know, he's, <laughs> he's ran horses all his life and it's not about to stop now. It was only his right, 50k to get a name change. There you go. Up and make a train line. Change your name. 
Mm. Oh, fuck. Mm. Oh, that's fuck man. Right. Real bad. Look at this. I, I, I will take this under consideration. I like okay. the name Ruby Christ. Okay, Skip. you know what? Keep it, but I want Sir Brittington exclamation mark so that it's legally distinct. Oh, fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Sir Brittington! Sir Brittington <laughs> of Brittingbray. Brittingbray. I've got 1,200 passengers waiting at Birmingham Central to go to London. You've got a deal, sir. I've been what I got distracted because I was watching Ravs and Zyles play chess. <laughs> God damn it, Delta. That's what's a good game. To, um, what's happened to, to uh, Wales? How's it going? Have you stolen all the milk? Well, what's the uh, I've stolen all the milk from Wales. Wales. And now I want to start so sinking. Well, yeah, exactly. We got 90k to the <sighs> sink whales. That means we've made 10,000 pounds for charity in the past however much fucking around we've done. That's amazing. Yay. I like you. You're an optimist. Oh, very generous. We have an incredible audience. Have you guys Love bought the bundle here? Yeah. I haven't yet. How, much, how long is it until we sink yet. whales? Oh, well. Boom. Is it 90,000 more pounds? I bought 90, the bundle before it was available to test if people would be able to get the games. Okay, yeah. cool. Are they? I assume so, I haven't got <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, that's a good point, to too. We don't really want to buy the bundle. <laughs> like, well, I'm going to test, because if I got the games, then I could be like, like you bought the bundle early? Poor I mean, me and Barry game, so fucking watching a stream earlier, just cringing, like, don't say that, Lewis, don't say that. Please don't <laughs> say that. Yeah. What? <laughs> I... You did give a lot of behind the scenes info which we weren't planning to give out. You literally sent us an email saying, don't say this, don't say this. And then yeah. in the stream, you're like, oh, ba -da -ba -da! don't say this because I've got to. Well, <laughs> I've, you know, I've organized the whole thing, so I get to be an asshole. All right, I'm, I'm not, I can't. I can do whatever I want. Yeah, fuck yourself. I can't argue with that. Uh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Lewis. Are you going to be all right doing colony tomorrow? Oh, I fucked this whole thing. I fucked. I set this up the whole wrong way. I Scottish Rail is fucked. Oh wait a minute. Was this Lewis who said he could start an hour late and mm. eleven yeah. hours? Yeah. Like, oh yeah, he, he well, was did, talking a mad I game. I didn't put a plan on the gin that was yeah. available. I haven't drunk gin in ages. I'm good gone. <laughs> yes, good gone. This is my favourite Lewis. One. I, oh. I'm Lewis gone. was gone hours ago. I was gone about half an hour into the Jingle Cats. <laughs> yes! <laughs> he just dropped his fire on the floor. Half an oh hour into God. Jingle Cats, he was like, look at do, this Do you need some all, water? It's, it's all purple and stuff. It was like that blue gin turned purple when you put the tonic in. I was um, amazed. <laughs> oh, that was enough for me. I couldn't stop drinking it. Well, what so like, wow. Bristol Temple Meads currently has 4,000 passengers waiting at it. <laughs> no. I mean, that's normal. That's pretty, that's pretty, pretty, normal. pretty, normal. pretty standard. Accurate. One train is late. Bristol Temple Meads. No, where is Temple Meads? Bristol South? Bristol Tra Oh Bristol my Tra god, look at all these people. I know they're every, all waiting. Every, <laughs> every station in Bristol has a thousand people waiting. <laughs> that's I'm just role playing playing as, as great I'll Western, love it. You know? I'm just role playing as first great way. Oh that's god. just normal. I mean, every time I've been there. <laughs> just oh role god. playing as, as, as we first freaking great love standing in queue. Failing to deliver passengers. Have they I ever told them. you about the time that I got a train to Manchester and there was like 200 people on the platform and a train with one coach rolled up and everyone got on? <laughs> I'm, I made a very normal profit. experience. Yeah. Yeah. You made profit. I made profit. I made. Oh, Pedgrim! I made 20,000 last year, according I'm to the video. I'm so game. proud of you. Yeah. Nice. Thank I you. made. Well, you sound wait. like a male character in a Jane Austen. No one has come close to the spiffing Brit. Let's be honest. Look, spiffing Brit. I mean, we all knew that was the world. Yes, but he did have multiple companies. He's had like I haven't, I haven't set up jam. any companies. I actually haven't set up a separate company at all this entire yeah. game. You yeah, can nice. watch my entire VOD back I and see you. that I've done nothing. I believe you, Spiff. You, yeah, feel like like you can literally click on the boats and see where all the money is coming from. Very cool. No. Spiff, you have built 66 <sighs> ships and 123 Fucking projects. Hell. I make 3.5 million a year from ship income, which is the most I've ever made oh, in Open TTD. Spiff, Spiff, can we, can we, I, this is a serious question. Yes. Uh, can we hand over the Oscars to you next year? To Thank you. I will take We've been saying that for a year. <laughs>
Yeah. Someone needs to take over in here. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> You're doing great. And no moves. one else here is any good. I mean, yeah, I, I, think I think this is a good idea. Could you imagine Duncan running the Girl Scouts? I can't. Yes. What are you saying? It Wait, would be <laughs> If he Duncan ran the Girl Scouts, it would be it would collapse within six months. Nah. Yeah. Duncan would be one of those fun bosses. I've cars. got some good ideas, Lewis. Yes, Just no. haven't told you them. I would fire all the men. <laughs> I would I would float yeah, the no, Yogg's Cast on a boat change? to avoid tax. Oh, see, that's how we need that. Ooh. That'll keep the Yogg's Cast for ages. We're yeah. on a pirate radio station. How would you get oh, internet oh. on a boat? Uh, ever see that satellite thing? Radio. The satellite thing. Oh, the, the Starlink box. thing. Yeah, Starlink. Jeff Bezos That's faster thing, yeah. than Central Central Bristol these days, so it's fine. That's just a good point. It's, well, look, it's better than my internet. Really is though, good because Sweden will probably end up paying more tax, right? Exactly. Uh, you Deltos, tax, yeah. America. Really, best, what we should not be even doing consider America. Is giving it yeah. the Delaware. Yeah. Delaware. Delaware. No Jersey. Consider Jersey Delaware. Jersey could be a good option. Yeah. yeah. If we give the company the sips, we instantly make twenty percent more money. Well, or, or no. you, you just need a P.O. box on Jersey. The company doesn't actually need to be there. Yeah. Interesting. There you go. All right. we'll talk, we'll I've talk been watching this. a lot we'll of fraud artists <laughs> talk about the fraud. <laughs> no, no, please we want to get to um, Yeah, please, please support charities. Um... Well, the, the charities. We're separate. charity. So Jingle Jam is very separately Oscars. We don't actually ever touch any of the money. It's all through third parties. Yeah. It's all it's external. We don't. We we just we just tell you to we just I just convince all of my contacts to give their games so that you guys get a, a very high quality bundle of games. It's a solid Buck deal. Um, I thought you like promised me I could lick the ones we played the before money. as well. I, I know. Right? I'm actually really wrist, yeah, yeah, impressed so. with the bundle. I this literally year. saved money. Oh, I'm so um, happy with <laughs> you personally I save personally money with save this money with the bundle. <laughs> that, that with the bundle. You just go through the Steam wish list and like, wow, well, really wanted to play this game, but I haven't found an excuse to, uh, you know, bundle. Email a developer. <laughs> yeah, unbelievably. Oh. So, yeah, the bundle this year, I think you could look at the bundle in a different way. It's me convincing my contacts to give their games away for free. <laughs> yeah. 50, 57 million dollars worth of games we're giving away. Holy shit. Isn't that... Are terrifying. Wow. Because we don't know what we're doing. Man. Um, but yeah, that's the jingle jam. Can you like check that's what the value. biggest donors are? I'm intrigued. It's biggest uh, donors per charity, so people can the fight amongst themselves. Well, the it's out first you were tilted five, so we don't really we don't really know how it works. You have the mouse. We'll do it we'll check it tomorrow. We'll check it. <laughs> Leo, check it when we're not drunk. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say thank you. Is the we total on stream really... accurate? Is it 660k still? It is, is 660,000 pounds, which is probably around 750,000 dollar dues. Yeah, it's no, that. 800,000. Dollar dues. I don't know how much pound, dollars are worth nowadays. Pretty, pretty bad the, still. The devil's Ooh. number. Six. Six yeah. one. one. Thank you for your support. Yeah. Um, that... If you click on the big one, we'll get it the, says big. We'll get the. That one, yeah. Oh. oh, mango! Uh, click oh. Eight hundred eighty-seven thousand. Oh. Mango did a hundred. Oh, mango. mango! Oh my god! What? How Seven much? minutes ago, Paul. Where did, where did we get that money from? No, she actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's, <laughs> not That's not fair. That's not fair at all. For a month. One thousand four hundred like, like, pounds from Whitlock. Whitlock. That's much it's better not. than what Mango donated. <laughs> Forget about Mango. His comment is censored. Why is it censored? Oh, <laughs> what no. did you say, Whitlock? <laughs> he probably said ass. That's very naughty. Ass is bad. It's, it's censored the word dose. Jingle Jam is needed after this mad year. Oh, Love that Yogg's cast dose, but it's it's censored dose. Dose. Wow. Can't believe, can't believe they told Mango her donation wasn't good. That's... That's that's F chat. That's oh my goodness! Can't believe that. Can't believe they do that. Can't believe they'd say that. There's only one thing I have to do, legally speaking. Um, do, 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 do. I gotta gotta just send you to her Twitch channel. There you go. There you go. Go go tell Mango that her donation was great because her donation was fantastic. Yeah, and she didn't even use my own money for it. That was entirely off her own back. She didn't tell me she was doing a donation at all. Didn't tell me at all. Jeez. Go give her a follow on Twitch. 
She makes good memes, and we also play um, we play games together on Saturday, which is fun. I do like that. I do like playing games with her. She's a fun person to play games with. Anyway, we're going to um, once again set up a absolutely incredible journey of Birmingham to Harrogate, uh, so that we can get more people moving back and forth. There we go. These giant ships that cost us huge amounts of money are just fantastic, so we might as well have literally millions of them. Uh, let's go send you to here. I think she was at like 9,200 followers, so if we see how many she has after this, that'll be quite funny. <laughs> I'm not doing this to get uh, get revenge on the Yogs. No, no, I promise. I promise. I I'm not doing that at all. Not at all. No, this isn't a entirely... This isn't my revenge arc. Not in the slightest. No. Right, let me get 10 trams for each of these stations. Um, like so. Perfect. There we go. There we go. Good stuff. Oh, Spiff, can we get a Corgi cam? Yes, we can. We can get a Corgi cam soon enough. I would love a Corgi cam. And I know everyone else would love a Corgi cam too. Because who wouldn't? They're great. They go bork. They, um, they go bork again. And um, sometimes they even bork for reasons that make tangible sense. Because <laughs> if there's one thing you should know about Corgis, it's that anything will make them bork. And sometimes nothing will also still make them bork. <laughs> I love Georgie. She's great. She's vocal. She's just telling us hello. Um, sometimes at sometimes at 10 a.m. when I'm trying to sleep in. Sometimes. That's just how it is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway, how's, um, how's the boat going? I realize that this boat might technically get lost, but, I mean, really all it has to do is go in a straight line. So how difficult can that be? In fact, you know, we might as well just... We'll put one boy in. Uh, that'll be fine. Okay, so we'll say... Bam. Go to the boy. And then also go to... Oh boy. Bam. And then on your way back, you can then go to here. And then you can go to Grenfell boy again. Lovely. Absolutely brilliant. <clears throat> Look at that majestic stuff. Oh, you fixed the mango link. Why did I balk the mango link? Did I really balk the mango link that much? Let me take a look at a Twitch channel again. How much can I artificially inflate another person's Twitch account? <laughs> it's what I love to do. It's what I love to do. Do, 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 do. Oops, I've accidentally opened up like 700 different tabs. <laughs> Oh, there we go. We're back. We're back, chat. We're back. Link doesn't work. I didn't. I didn't get the link to work. My God. Profit check. Profit check. Bam. That's a profit check. That's a profit check right there. I should probably go get back and talking to my friends. Let's go. Do 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 do. do. Sports Deltos. So it doesn't matter playing. Uh, some of them, the biggest sports fans I know never played a lick of it. They just really like the stats and the strategy. You know? This isn't like Deltos. This is too wholesome. I'm always wholesome, sort of. Normally you have a very strong polarizing opinion, so this kind of like fence-sitting margin, marginal opinion doesn't suit you. That <laughs> oh my god, we're fat. I don't think that's... Uh, I just... I the, the fandom should intertwine, you know? Don't be afraid to like sports, and don't be afraid to be nerdy if you like either one of them. Yeah, oh, actually, I, for once, I agree with Daltos. I never thought I'd say that. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I not even listed in London's local authority when I have like a massive station there? Um, they don't even see you. They literally don't even know I'm here. They well, don't even know who you are. <laughs> this stream is so real. Oh Jeremy. my god. I am so outstanding real. in the London local authority. Wow. 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 I wish I was. I Ram better than Ariva. Ariva yep. is fing shit. Hey. I've made a hundred thousand pounds this year. I'm not even my there. Mom, my Damn. mom works for Ariva. All right. Does she? She's part of the problem, Pedgrin. <laughs> oh, oh my God! God. Wow. She's just wow. trying to make a way in the D world. She will also okay? be put up against the wall. Jesus. My God. Okay, Dow toss it back to normal. <laughs> I love how there's like <laughs> fucking spiffing Brit ships bringing tea from China just casually down the Thames. Just. <laughs> They're not. They're not. They're not full of tea. They're full of people. So the setup of my company is to load people up from the London docks when they get picked up by trams. Then there's only one way out of London docks, and that's on one of my boats. And those boats go straight to Harrogate. 
and there is no return journey. I've done a thing. I've done a terrible job. This, this, this. Uh, we'll do another train stream where I'll, I'll do a proper job. Honestly, I promise. Proper job. Proper <laughs> job. We've, re we've hit the number of the beast. Six cool. Six. Hey. Oh, we wow. have eleven thousand wow. seven hundred and fifty-five donations. Holy wow. That's shit. almost wow. an, an wow. eighth. An eighth of the bundles have gone then. On the first Jeez. day. Holy shit. Wow. You, what, you want to get in there if you want to get if, your bundle. Yeah. Yeah. No, honestly, if you're in the chat and you haven't bought the bundle, what's what's wrong with and you? Have seen the there, games? Aren't, aren't there, aren't honestly, there there's some really great there. games. Like, yeah, there'll be four other people. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I love that. I actually completely yeah. forgot Fall of the King was in the bundle, and yeah. that was one of the games I really game. want to play. For the king. There's a few things in the bundle that are on sale right now on the front page. Too drunk to do math. Steam, mm. and you could get them all for like cheaper if you just buy the I bundle. Plus, yep. it goes to charity. I don't sound right. For but the king. But I'm too drunk to call you on it. <laughs> or Orcs must die. Like all of these games are so incredibly I good. I, I'm so proud of you guys. Man, that's a, that's a really great game. I like, can't yeah. in the bundle. Yeah. We've actually like made videos of them in, in the past just because we like them so much. Like, I, I have a strip. Yeah. I have a streaming playlist and like I put the entire like Dicey Ooh. Dungeons music on there like because it's just so good. Like, we just that passed music alone. Six, 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 dot six, Nice. Six. When are we getting 69, 69, 69, 69? Soon. Sure, that's the big one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we 30 69, grand 69. for that, but let's do it. Soon. Well, yeah, chat, if anyone's chat, got a spare 30 grand lying around, uh, I know a very chat. useful place for it. <laughs> chat. Get on that. Birmingham loves me. Oh, that's nice. You, oh, I'm, I'm oh, so mad at you. Birmingham hates Duncan. me. Birmingham I, I've, hates me. I've gone wow, so far. Wow, it actually far does. Away. It really hates you. When yeah, I said up against the wall before, you guys understood that meant shooting someone, right? Or is that yeah, a that's why price? I okay, said okay. you were back to normal, okay, Dantos. Thank, thank you. Thanks for uh, you know doubling down on that. Um, I was just apparently uh, I was told it meant something else. Right. So let's let's just have a little judgment. Because we're about to reach 11 o'clock, and I want to know. Obviously, we know who's won the most profitable. It's Spiff. Spiff, Spiff. Round Spiff. of applause. I feel like Thank if you. you bet on Spiff. Oh, real quick. We made, have like, passed. If you bet two quid on Spiff, you've made £2.10. We've passed $900,000. Hey! 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 Spiff has I got the most understand. profitable company. It's just what happens. He knows what he's doing. Or actually, we're about to. Sorry. Um, I can't see that. Spiff's maths. company. <laughs> Oh, Spiff's company, Yorkshire Tea, as always, Mr. T. <laughs> he's the king of fucking of, of industry. He's got That's a brilliant all nickname sorts of pies. For you. Look at this. He's got pies in. He's got pies in Newcastle. He's got pies in Harrogate. He's got pies down in Birmingham. He's, he's got, got canals. He's, he's got, got fingers pie. everywhere. Oh, he's fingering oh. you guys all oh, up in your uh, area. Oh, oh. Mm. oh Lewis, I'm, oh. I've been I've been going green up in the north. All right. So if you take a look at it, doesn't matter. The profitability craft is won by Swift. So congratulations, Swift. Well Thank done. You. Get out. Let's give Mr. a little toast to the Swifting Brit for being it's, the best. It's at, 2020. Okay. It's all about going green. Okay, is but. It? It's actually 1910. Oh, God! 44 people died. I'll talk about going green. That will remove some of the carbon footprint. Rambler. Oh, my God, Alex. Okay, Rambler. Look at this mess of trains. Rambler has caused a terrible train accident where hundreds of people have died. Um, there are passengers too, and the women and children too. He wins this an award for that, even, right? As well. Hang on a second. This Can we have even, an award for most deaths? Who is this even? Yeah. It's an unnamed company. Is this your company, Rambler? That London is Rambler. Rambler. That is Rambler. Yeah. You mean Rambler <laughs> better than Arriva? That is his own company. Rambler. Stop besmirching Amiva. <laughs> besmirching Amiva. Amiva. I can't believe it. Okay. Amiva. Well, look. That is a disaster. That doesn't win any awards. Well, I guess it wins like a fucking disaster. Damn it! I was muted. My, would you, <laughs> both my trains have just derailed. Yes, oh, no. they uh, yeah, they yeah, didn't yeah, derail, we... derail, they drove into each other they at high speed. You need to follow some safety precautions, Rambler. You go, you're well, going to win no awards when hundreds of people have died on your I, fucking I, railways, I, my dude. I, I didn't know how to put signals in, so... <laughs> oh, that's your problem. Uh, so, yeah. right. down control and so we've got applications for now for the best-looking railway. Who wants to go first? Me. Me. All right. I don't even own a train. <laughs> <laughs> they still win somehow. You have got 
Rambler, you've got this lovely Kentish Garden Railway, okay, yeah. of, of terribly short track. Do you want to just, I'm giving you 30 seconds to tell me why your railway so is the best. Um, just ignore the derailment. That That's fake news. What we really <laughs> want to focus on are my, are my lovely scenic routes that go between Royal Tunbridge Wells and Ashford International. Uh, then we also have uh, my little train train going through Crawley and that goes up to um, London Industrial Park. So wow. all really fantastic scenic routes get that you out. can only get in the Kentish countryside. Wow. I'd like to put my Bristol to London route. You're a bit forward. of a Kentish. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on a second. The, the Bristol route. to London route. Okay, let's hear it. I super understand time. why you've got weird start now. sidings. So it's, it's two tracks, but we've got about eight trains on there just because there are some uh, sidings that at regular intervals that they slot into. It's a very this... profitable line. Why have you built it like this? It does the job very <laughs> efficiently. Oh you have, God, you have made God. one slight oh mistake, though. What the you fuck fun? is this? You built this like a fucking AI. <laughs> so... <laughs> the most disgusting train route I've ever seen. Simon, Simon, I can give you one bit of advice, and you, your company would have made four times the money it made this entire stream. You this know how you have the train station at Bath? Yeah. If you deleted the Bath train station, you'd have unloaded only at Salisbury, yeah. and you'd have more than quadrupled your you've income. Got, yeah. you've, you've gone, you've, you've done the double you've line, fallen. which is, you know, you've got an upline and a downline, but both your lines are uplines and downlines. <laughs> yeah, it's efficient. You don't, you have two it's tracks so like eight trains. Wait. Oh, it's <laughs> actually horrible, I've just oh, noticed it. I can't believe it. I'm it. This is the, one of the worst things I've ever seen. I thought you were okay, like the clever one. Hey, Congratulations. It, it's you've doing won, the job very efficiently. You've won I, I the most the awful train line award. <laughs> um, so bad. I, I, this is unbelievable. I think it's just the bad. first one you looked at. I think it's about to get worse. Good lord. Good fucking lord. Okay, cool. I'd like I'll, I'll submit Watford East to Birmingham. It's a it's pretty basic, but it it's a loop at least. Watford East <laughs> to Birmingham. Okay. Watford where is Watford? The Watford Gap. Where no, it's is near there? London. It's North London, is it? Watford? Yeah, it's next to London. Okay, Watford yeah. East is starts here. This is a very classic open DD train line. It goes up here. Very vertical, and then it goes oh, completely horizontal. I'm assuming. I like it. It's very neat. Yeah, it goes horizontal. Oh, it goes back a it's bit. neater than mine. It goes go, back a bit. Go it's Peter much Brown. neater than mine. It, it's it's the yeah. Peterborough bypass. I mean, you could have just cut straight across, but uh, no. You've but got I didn't want to go through the uh, the farmland because that would have been maybe bankrupt. Right. So it would have cost too much to go. Oh yes. no, because farm. you care about the farmers. It's very exactly. English. Very English of you. <laughs> I would nice give funnel. it a solid four out of ten. Right, who else? Pedgwin, wow. what have you fucking made? Hello. Christ. I, well, after Tokyo destroyed my economy, I've made it an monstrosity. Oh, God, he's gone um, as well. So if you come up to the north... Um, <laughs> How north? But, but it's a passenger-based trip, and the scenery is luxurious. Tell come me where it starts. Scotland, in north, in, in the greeny north area. I'm oh, green. Beric upon Tweed. It is this. Is this. But look how north. green it is. Look how many forests there is. Did you plant all of those? Uh, yes, yes. So you do it. I, I planted. Trains. I planted all trains. of this. I it's plant... transport tycoon deluxe. You planted trees. Yes. I planted. Who did that? I planted. Fuck trees. your trees, oh, Ped. Fuck them trees. Fuck pounds. them trees. <laughs> 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 Fuck your trees, Ben! <laughs> Fuck your trees! <laughs> It what was me. Fuck? No, I couldn't afford to do that, Pen. I, I spent 200,000 pounds on this shit. I literally just waxed your asshole. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Sorry. Now. Sorry. So I'm giving it a solid God, uh, that was a two and a half out of ten. <laughs> okay, can ah. can I submit my. Can I submit yes, um, fro can. frog email to Toadie Cole? Where the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh god. Um, Give me a location I'm in like, England. I'm like in the Midlands. Froggy Near Manchester. Mill. Okay, Froggy Mill. Please. Froggy Mill. Sure. What's this? Is this a mill? Don't you fucking delete my mill. A mill to Toady Hole. Is that where it is? Yeah. To get it? Toad in the hole? Toady Hole? Oh no, Toady Cole. Sorry. Toady Cole. Oh. Leo, you've actually done a decent job here. Thank you. Oh. It's a bit shit. Looking, it is a bit um, shit. But, but it's the only thing that makes me money. It's capable. 
I would say it was slightly... It's slightly more... It's so boring, though. It's yeah. so boring. I'm giving you a three and a half. Lewis, okay. I've been I, I staring think, at this for the last two I think hours. Alex Rambler is the winner, unfortunately. No, 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 no. Doing like I'm one and a half the people. One and a half. Jesus. Alex Rambler. Alex, give him a clap, everyone. What well Alex. Alex. Woo! The rhyme? Let's look at Scenic Route, Alex the Rambler. No, no, no. Well done, Alex. Air to South uh, to South Wales in a complete fucking straight line via the Isle of Man. This, 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 I have bridged UK. UK. What is that? No, no, no. Who's I love is it. that? I love it. This is cancer. This How is much like, did that cost? This is awful. No. This is How much did that cost? Like, you didn't even see all of it. It keeps going. I'm looking at it. It's just garbage. Ah, it keeps going. No, okay. It goes down the Cornwall. Oh, You've stopped that oh, way. So incredibly Alex loudly. Alex the Garden of Kent. You don't when, have a microphone when, to support look it. Look at this. Royal Tunbridge Wells to Ashford International, a beautiful, cute little train line, very ornamental, very smart, a little bit of useless train Oh, you still here. got the tiny train. Love it looks it. like he's got a little smiley face. It. it looks like a bee. I, thought, I love it. I he's a little bee. <laughs> cute. Alex Rambler. Oh, most any route. So one point for Spiff, switch? one point yeah. for Spiff for the most profitable route, one point for Alex the Rambler. Not even close. Alex route. the Rambler. Who won? Now the third vote. It's tied. Is uh, going to be for... Um, what was it? What did I say it would be? Coolest? No. Twitch chat? That, that's Twitch not COVID, chat poll? see? Yeah, Twitch okay, chat poll. Do that. Sync Wales, yeah, I have to say. So you have to no, vote between. We're getting close. Right, so everyone, I'm going to give you a chance to tell us why your, your railway's the best. Mine, I'm out of the running. Don't worry about me. Damn right. Um, Rithian, give me your Viking run. Well, I don't believe in trains. So I have gotten full on horses and carriages in Dublin. Yeah. And I have managed to grow Dublin from 2,800 to 4,700 wow. in the uh, period of this stream. Now, wow. of course, Dublin to support. Is like the metropolis of the world! Yeah, to support Dublin, I had to. My son made some train lines, but I don't support those. They, they don't count. It's close to the population of London, money. second biggest city in the world. Yeah. yeah. Is it? So I've been Very growing, good. making sure Dublin is the coolest place to be. Dublin? Nicely done. Nice. Look at these horses in the train. I think there's more players than there are Twitch chat poll numbers. <laughs> like, you only have five options. Oh, I see. Right. Do uh, find a way. <laughs> I would like to remove myself from the running because I don't deserve it. Okay, Leo's out. Let's be real. It has to be between Spiff and Alex. respectful. Could do a straw poll. If you look at the profit graph right now, I've actually overtaken to be the second place. Oh, what? I didn't make a big deal about being in second place, Duncan. What are you fucking joking about? in second place in the mind. No one is anywhere close to second place does not matter. Can I turn Spiff off somehow? It's too high. Do not, can I? You yeah. can't tell. You can't tell uh, you're in second if place. You, if you remove <laughs> Spiff, <laughs> it's a lot more interesting. Well, we're not doing that because that's not, that's not in the spirit of the game. <gasps> I, I'm not last. <laughs> I like how Rhythian has brought civilization to an otherwise barbaric state of Ireland <laughs> <laughs> in 1900. And quite honestly, <laughs> Well, I respect that, and was, so I'm awarding him. Founded by the Vikings. I'm anyway? awarding him a valuable point. Hooray! It looks lovely. Well it done, feels Rithian. like Taskmastering got a bonus point for saying yeah. something nice to Greg Davies. So three three <laughs> points have been awarded: one to Spiff for being for being the best, one to to Alex Rumler for being the most sensitive, and one to Rithian for for looking after sensitive. the neglected. Looking after Ireland. <laughs> yeah. Um, and do you know what? I don't. I don't know if we need any more points. Oh my god, I'm not oh, last. Okay. So it's one, one, yes, one. Yes, you are, Leo. No, You're I'm not. Last, no, no, no. Me. That's not me. No. I'm not the dark green. I'm the <laughs> no, light no, no. green. Look. No. You? Look at no, my no, no, screen. No, Leo. I'm. Ooh. I'm you are there. Last. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm ahead Wait, of the blue one. Graph. How are you seeing this? There. Um, look. It looks like the straw. Oh my god. Pole. The operating profit. They, they did a. They did a straw poll. Voting for Matt, Ben. I can't even click on it. It's, it's, it's a lot more interesting here. whether you remove Yorkshire tea from it. It is. Just remove Yorkshire tea it's, and then look at the graph. There's actually so, some kind of like useful information. With the straw poll, bizarrely, um, I'm not even winning. sure what Ben did. Ben, ben, ben did the server. Ben did the server, okay? Ben ah. Buses, company one. Who's O'Donnell and Co? That's me. Yeah, Yo, you're winning. Oh, Ben built yeah. Colchester over here. And then Rambler. Yeah. Yeah, oh, cool. my... <laughs> this looks my profit great. took a hit after the derailment. Who's, who's Hawthorne? Amazing. Don't know. That's Ped, right? 
How's uh, Rusty that? Floaters doing? Yeah, that's oh, really good, really good. Oh, wow. I feel like I've been robbed. All right, chat, do I've not let robbed. Leo beat me in boats. That's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Keep <laughs> Leo down. I should have kept them. They're doing better than me. Rusty floaters. Stop the really well. I didn't even make it onto the straw poll. They make a delivery every three years. Every every three years it it's makes a hundred k. It takes three years That's to sail 30 from, k a year from Plymouth to Ireland. A three year trip. It does not take three years. <laughs> well, apparently it does. That's hilarious. <laughs> anyway, um. so anyway, according to Twitch, the best. Uh, um, open TTD player was in fact Ben. Ben, ben. he's not here in mm. Colchester. Look at Colchester now, though. Where's, it is, where's it is Colchester? Actually in Essex. The ben end. came, where's he won, and he left. Right, right, right. What that implies, guys, is that we are right, worse than someone who wasn't even here. Ah. Which means that our impact was negative. If his I impact think, uh, was zero, I think we, we need to infer passengers. No, but look the at results. zoo in one, <laughs> and then out one. And then look how beautiful, press delete, and then look how beautiful Colchester is. Look at what he's done. He's made it very accurate. This actually looks this like Colchester. Is, this is actually it? really nice. It yeah. is pretty nice. There's a lot of like weird like uh, farms. Let's see. That's what Colchester looks like. This really? like, oh my fucking God. <laughs> now it looks like <laughs> shit. I voted for Ben twice. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. That? You didn't it's include big. me in the poll. Everything was burned. It's <laughs> So joint first on the Jingle Jam Open DTD stream is the Spiffing Brit, and Rhythian, and Alex Rambler, and Ben. And joint last is me, <laughs> Daltos, Leo. Don't lump me in with you. I, don't the, lump me in with you. Mine was part. great. Um, I technically got a point Duncan. for the worst train line. So am How I somewhere in the middle? last with us? Because <laughs> I, uh, I haven't really tried. Uh, <laughs> my favourite part of this stream I is being... I tried um, and everyone else. When they turned the camera on at the beginning, I didn't know. And I looked up and I looked really sad. Oh, yeah. No, we didn't know. That was your favourite part? I was eating a Jaffa cake. Yeah, because it made me smile. <laughs> and I've smiled ever where, since. Where am I listed? Am I... You're also lost. You're lost. <laughs> no, you're lost. Nice, you're lost. Nice, no, it's nice. No, it must be a mistake. Two, there's only two tiers. There's there's winning and there's joint last. Yeah. And joint I'm afraid wow. we're winning. joint last. But as long as Ben wins, it's all. Do you know who's right. winning tonight? It's it's charity. Amazing charities. That's right. Sixty nine. Yeah. Speaking of charity, we're not too far away from six nine six nine six nine point six nine. Well, that would have been nice. Yeah. Oh, the can sex go for several team. times. Can we do that? Can we do six nine six nine today? Well, uh, Lewis, can you get chat back? Maybe we'll do it once once we're asleep. Chat, we, we almost won. Yeah, enough. We almost. I'm won. going to bed. <laughs> I've enough? got to be back tomorrow morning for some colony survival streams. So we're going to be. True. We're going to. We're going to call it. Here. So, uh, Lewis it's... and Penguin, are you guys going to be uh, all right tomorrow morning? We'll be fine. <laughs> You sure? Quick question. Yeah. I got an invite for tomorrow. Am I in Colony Crew tomorrow? I'd... Yeah, I'd love you to turn up. When do you want me? What time? Mm. 11? Whenever you want. Whenever you want. If you want to join whenever. Just show up. Whenever you turn up. Right, you I'll can just, just join whenever. Discord and we'll do it. Wake up. Yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, for um, making this amazing. Nearly it's been a pretty a good first day. Best Definitely best. been yeah. a pretty good first day. Fantastic first day. Is Duncan got doing some... GeoGuessr? Amazing streams. We're, we're going to get some GeoGuessr, I'm sure. We're going to get Farming Sim. We're going to get uh, Minecraft. We're going to get Among Us. We're going to get College Survivor. We're going to get everything. So so over the course of the next week, take it easy. We've got the next couple of weeks to go. So thank you so much for raising so much money tonight. Um, the keys will be sent out in the next 24 to 48 hours. <laughs> um, so you'll get them. <laughs> Which I have been sent. <laughs> they are there. They just need to be emailed, and they, we need mechanics to do it. So it's a bit ghetto, but it'll be great. Thank you, everyone. Go to bed if you're in the UK. <laughs> if you're not in the UK, go and do something. No, else. no, yeah. even if you're not in the UK, even if no, you've no, just I... woken up in Australia, <laughs> go to bed. If you're in Australia, yeah. sleep anyway. Go to bed. There. You might, cool. you might Have want a lion. it. You deserve it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, with the uh, GeoGuessr, I meant is GeoGuessr after this? Because Duncan oh. does his thing, didn't he? Is that... oh, he's gone to the toilet. No, usually we do. Um... <laughs> you snooze, you lose, Duncan. Are you doing GeoGuessr today? Are you doing GeoGuessr now? We do Red Alert usually after <laughs> this, right? I think. 
Do you we usually just go to bed. In case I got too bored of open TTD. Right. Mm. Okay. So I didn't. We haven't played for that long. No, we haven't. I could keep going. Like Three hours. Yeah. Three hours is nothing. Next year I'll yeah. schedule six yeah. hours, then we'll be at Yes, please. All right. <laughs> um, good night, everyone. Thank you Are for watching. Are we going? Yes, I'm we're going. Decided. Yeah. Just yeah. Everyone. The decider. <laughs> you just pop a beer. Oh, you can take it home with you, Duncan. That's a little That's present can't for you. Take it That's you're in an Uber. Save it tomorrow. <laughs> Jesus. It's, it's, the it. it's the first dive jingle jam. We've had, I've had a very long day. I've had to make this tree and everything. Christ. Lewis, I was crying. Well, you go Jesus. home. Let, G let Duncan do right. geocaching. Yeah. Yeah. Duncan's got a side. Well, why don't we keep going without <laughs> We'll play with my train set. <laughs> All right. We're going to see you tomorrow morning. Fresh and early. I'll, I'll about, be doing it from home. In less than 12 hours time. So um, I'm external tomorrow, so right? Get some right? rest. Right? Get some pizza. Uh, see you tomorrow. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Have a good time, everyone. Bye, bye. Goodbye. Bye. Enjoy the jingle. Bye, 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 it feels like we vaguely won. I mean, it looks like we kind of won. Especially if we look at <laughs> this bit of the operating profit graph. <laughs> and I've mostly just been wasting about 2 million sinking whales into the ground. Um, well, actually not wasting, really. Just, you know, adding to society. Um, when I when I actually thought I was going to win the game, uh, when we started doing this, I genuinely genuinely believed it wouldn't have been this easy normally lewis of the yogs cast um is actually terrifyingly good at this game today however he was completely and utterly drunk <laughs> so um yeah that was um that was that made it a fair bit easier um i mean making this much money is okay i feel like i could have done better especially towards the end bit where i just realized i was making one point like two million a year and I might as well give up and just throw stuff around but there you go we um we absolutely smashed them chat absolutely smashed them pat yourselves on the back thank you very much of course to everyone who's liked the stream who's donated to charity um if you still want to um to grab the bundle you can there's a description uh, there's a comment in the description there's a hundred thousand keys of each game available uh, which is a lot. Um, that's more keys than I think were given out last year. So you're basically guaranteed. However, you never know. So you might as well jump on it nice and early. I'll release the VOD of this into the wider world. So if you're watching this VOD later, you can go grab it for charity. You can go grab it for charity. There you go. 11,000 likes at the end. That's insane, chat. Thank you very much. That's very generous. It has been absolutely beautiful having um, this many people here supporting charity today. I hope you have a lovely evening. This is going to be it for me. I'm going to have a nice lie down um, and a cup of tea and a relax. And I will be back in the coming few weeks with some fun new videos. There's a really fun Mountain Blade Bannerlord video coming soon, uh, which Connor in the chat, my moderator, is part of. Really strongly recommend giving it a watch. Uh, beyond that, I'm pretty sure in the next few days I get my copy of Cyberpunk, uh, which will be very exciting. <laughs> anyway, I will um, see all of you. Uh, I'll see all of you tomorrow. Have an absolutely lovely day. And yeah, hop on the Discord if you haven't. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't. Go follow my fiance on Twitch if you haven't. Have a lovely day, chat. You absolutely lovely sausages. Truly majestic. Oh. I'm going to miss you. I've in, I've missed streaming. I've missed being sat here with you lovely people. Oh, good night. Good night, you lovely people. Sleep well. Sleep well. <laughs>